friends, and welcome to Let's Play 60 Parsecs. I'm your host, Magic Man Mo. Uh, we're playing a game, 60 Parsecs. I've never played it before. I've heard of it. Here's the description on Steam. It's it's uh, developed by Robot Gentleman. 60 Parsecs is an atomic space age adventure of scavenge and survival. Keep your crew alive and ready for action. Make difficult choices. Face soup shortages and other horrors of outer space. And maybe reach... Your destination or not that's the description it's got for me on steam it's a game that i have heard about it's a i guess a sequel or not a direct sequel but based on a game called 60 seconds a game that i've also heard of but i've not played either one of these so this will be a new experience for me but i've got my coffee and we've got more than 60 parsecs parsecs is a, not a unit of time it's a unit of distance what? But we've got plenty of time to um, figure out what we're looking at here. So this is just what the game loaded me up on. I, I see that I can hover over the computer. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, welcome to the Astro Citizen program. In order to ensure your comfort during your stay on this other space station, please, please adjust the settings of your cabin. Well, this will probably do just fine. Control, what, what, what is this? What do you, Z, Z, S, Q, what? What even is this? What is this nightmare? <laughs> yes, I want Waz. That's the only thing that makes it. Pick an Astro Citizen Cadet. I, uh, Dee Dee or Emmett? Dee Dee or Emmett? See, you know, as a guy, my first instinct is to choose the guy. You know, it's like what I associate with. But he's on the right. Where is left? Left is always right, so I'm gonna click DD. <laughs> Space drill, alert, nuclear apocalypse imminent, executing order 1961. New protocol initiated, commence Astro Citizen emergency drill and brace for nuclear impact. That does not sound remotely good. Nuclear impact braced for Astro Citizen, Wee! Oh, I get it, it's got a 60 for like 60 parsecs or something on it. Um, I, I guess we're surviving a nuclear, a nuclear explosion of sorts, a nuclear disastrophe. Um, am I supposed to click something? Or are we just load? I hope we're just loading. I hope that's what we're doing right now. Oh, yep. Okay, it is. Excellent. Oh, God. It's me, the MDD. Well, welcome to Icarus 13 Space Station Astro Citizen. Oh, God. Move, Astro Citizen. We don't have much time, do we not? Oh, God. I, I actually don't. Grab some soup. You need rations to serve. How do I grab soup? How, how do... Oh, oh, I just click. Oh, drop it into the escape shuttle. I'm, I'm going to try to click on anything that walks into my... Yes, perfect. We dropped... We drop in the soup. Oh god, it's probably already like timing me. Do I have 60 parsec? I have 60. I have 60. I have 60 distance. 60 units of distance. I, I don't know what I can and can't pick up. I don't. Is it just to find medical supply? Wait, I can't pick up the soup. Find some medical supplies. I'm looking for medical supplies. Is this a medical supply? Or are you a medical supply? No. Where are the medical supplies? I. I. I I vaguely hear a clock ticking in the background, and I don't think I'm going to find these medical supplies that you want to eat. I am actually in space right now. There's the Earth. We're all gonna die! No, okay. Uh, I, I legit don't. Hey, bud. Do you know where medical... <laughs> this guy is how I would feel right about now. That he's... That is me. That is me on the on the floor just hyper... No, that's not me. I'm a man of action. What are you talking about? I wouldn't be panicking in a situation like this. I would be calm and cool and... That looks like a m medical supply. Give me the medical supply. Find the handbook. Handbook? Handbook? I don't have a handbook. I haven't seen a handbook. Can I drop this in here, though? Nice. Nicely done. Handbook. That looks like a handbook. Give me the handbook. Head back to the escape shuttle. Blah. Find some crafting resources. Is this a crafting resource? Put them in escape. I'm doing it. Find a crewmate. How about how about you? You look lovely. Come with me. Help them down the hatch. Down the hatch you go. You've been eaten by the space station. Alert! It says alert. Oh god, is there something else? Incoming missiles detected. Risk of high impact. Grab whatever and whoever you can and head for the escape shuttle. Oh god, okay, now I'm officially being timed. Now I'm actually being timed. Okay, got it. What is this? A lighter? You got it. Here, it's, it's happening. I, I mean, I could hear... Oh, to the shuttle? To the shuttle! There you go. I was full on... Oh, we got plenty of time. We got time for days. We got so much time. We've got at least 60,000 parsecs to figure this out. Oh, oh god, our time is almost halfway up. 
Halfway up. Whoa! Gonna need a prayer. Oh, I want this gun. I definitely want to bring the gun with me. I soup is only one spot. We need to bring some people, don't we? We got half time. I gotta get to the shuttle. Sh that's not the shuttle. I want that shovel though. Okay, go, 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 go. I need. I want to grab at least one more person. It looks like I've got room for one more dude. Probably not the panicking dude. I'm. You're coming with me, Steve. I don't know what your name is, but it's Steve now. It's to the shuttle. I got a shovel. I got a shovel for my shuttle. Do I die if I don't get in? Okay, I'll, I guess I'll just go in. No. Oh god, I hope it's not a case if, uh, of if I don't get back to the escape, we're dead. Uh, can I bring you? I can't bring that boot. Oh, how about the, the supplies? No! It was a miss! Impact avoided? Oh, okay, good. Escape shuttle not sealed within 60 seconds. Supplies discarded? Alert? What? What? Incoming missile detect high risk of impact. What? Grab whatever and whoever you can and head for the escape shuttle. Did it just reset me? Did you just restart so I did have to get inside the escape shuttle? I did have to get inside of it! I knew I did! Wait, did everyone that I put in there just suddenly die? Or did they all just get, like, put into a different place? Did they just reset? <laughs> what happened? It said discarded! What does that mean? What have you done, game? Okay, apparently... <laughs> apparently you have to grab everything and get out. Oh, you get, like, get yourself out as well. Okay, come with me, guy. I need to come back here and get that shovel. I don't know when a shovel's gonna be handy in space, but if we have to land on a on, a, on another planet and repopulate it with a, a shovel takes two spots. I know this. Oh God, if we need to repopulate the plants or something, I, I don't know, man, you shut up. I don't know, you don't know, we don't know. All right, I got a soup. I got a soup, is there another soup? I could use one more soup. I really wanna bring the gun. I really wanna bring the gun. Why did I grab the gun? Wait, where do I gotta go? I gotta go out here. Okay, 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 okay. Go, 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 go down. Go, it was a miss. What? How do I go inside? How does inside happen? How does the insidening happen? Well, apparently the miss. <laughs> this is gonna be the entirety of the game. You just get 60 seconds to panic and run around like a goddamn maniac. Okay, fine. I, I guess it, I guess we're gonna go again. Is that what's happening? I'll, uh, y sure. You're coming with me now. I'm bringing this blouse. No, or whatever this is. Okay, okay. I don't okay, pick it up. Pick up the soup. Pick up the soup. What is wrong with you? Pick up the other soup. Pick up the other soup. Could I pick up the lighter too? Okay, drop that stuff in the into into the there into the therening. I like how she just yells no when it doesn't fit. All right, I, I've decided to pick up the. Gu I'm not gonna bring the old lady. She's yelling in that computer into that t in, into that phone. I've decided that's too much. That's too much for me, ma'am. I can't handle that kind of stress. So we're gonna drop this stuff. I got room, I got time for one more trip, I think. I want this, I want the gun. Give me the gun. Wait, the, 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 the resources took, uh, it all took too much space. Why does it take three space? Okay, how do I, how do I go inside? How do I do, how do I go inside? How do I do the thing? Okay, there it goes, achievement unlocked, don't panic. I didn't know how to go inside. <laughs> That's why I didn't think I had to. Okay, apparently you just have to be inside the green thing when time runs out. And then you're good. You don't have to click anything. You just have to be inside the green when time runs out. Okay. We know that now. We've learned. I didn't get the gun. I didn't bring the gun. I feel like I should have got a gun. Because I feel like there's going to be aliens or something. And I wanted to shoot somebody. <laughs> Even if it's one of our own dudes. Okay. We're in. Mm. Finger. Day one. The finger of day one. Okay. Great. We're in. What's happening? How do we do? How do we do that? We've grabbed things. Look. Dee Dee, caffeinated Dee Dee and I were meant to be. This is why I chose Dee Dee. We can be coffee queens. Yeah, that's right. Shut up. We can be coffee queens together. She and I. Shut up. We can be coffee queens. <clears throat> of course, now I'm choking on it. You betrayed me, coffee. I'm choking on it now. Okay. What do we do? Can I click on this? Oh, God. Oh, I can't. Greetings, Astro Computerized Assistant reporting for duty. You must be Didi, right? I am. I am pleased to announce that according to my data, you qualify to become the captain of this vessel. Well, you're darn tootin'. Welcome aboard the escape shuttle, Captain. On behalf of the Astro Citizen Program, please accept our apologies for the minuscule inconvenience of being relocated 60 parsecs away from Earth. It is a unit of distance! Hey, they got it right. Okay, first order of business, find a safe place to land and then try to contact the outside world. Please check the main computer for further instructions. It is located in the center of the shuttle. Follow the regular rationing protocol and feed your crew. Good luck. You're going to need a captain. What does this button do? Oh God, 
Uh, oh, oh, that's category. Oh, I see. Captain's goal, make seven successful attribute decisions of any type. I don't know what that means. Current goals, find an appropriate landing. See, I told you we'd have to be landing and probably repopulating plant life. Did I bring my shovel? Yeah, I got my shovel! I don't have any seeds, though, so that's probably gonna be a slight problem. D.D. Dawkins, agility, limber. Okay, intelligence, average, strength, average. Okay, we're, we're, lim we're limber. <laughs> we're, we're limber. <laughs> a former child athlete whose promising career was ended by an untimely injury. Ah, hits so close to home. I could have been a baseball star. As an adult, she struggles to reinvent herself, but the reality is far from what she once imagined. She joined the Astro Citizen program in hopes of rejoining her, uh, regaining her confidence and finally becoming the champion she was always destined to be. I so relate with you, DD. Dude, we're, we're brother and sister from another mother. Captain's goal, make seven successful attributes. We already read this stuff. Uh, caffeinated hunger bonus. You don't need food after all that coffee. This is true. That is actually how this works. It, oh, I can slide. We got Ab uh, or April, uh, Abigail. April Angel, Angel, Angele. Agility, she's also flexible, average intelligence, and fit in strength. A young mechanic who spent most of her life working in her family's garage in New Orleans with her father and older brothers. Sick of only servicing bicycles, April got into a fight with her family and, and joined the Astro Citizen program to tinker her way into space. Okay, we've got Emmett Ellis. He's also, f he's flexible he's not just limber but he's flexible as well apparently he's brilliant he's wimpy but hey we've got uh, April here can kind of make up the difference despite his brilliant mind Emmett has always been undervalued <laughs> and misunderstood by his peers seeking scientific challenge and to get away from his uh, ungrateful job as a chemistry teacher he signed up for the Astro Citizen program hoping this will be the place where he can finally earn the appreciation and respect he deserves Tom Thompson agility uh, average intelligence clever not brilliant but clever and strength fit so he's, he's pretty good all around as well we got a bunch of good people for this run. Everyone's first impression of Tom Thompson is that of a decorated major. Brave, courageous, a man who has seen it all. Sporting a dastardly eye patch and a coat of once magnificent blonde hair, Tom believes himself to be everyone's dream come true and the personification of the American hero. Except none of this is true. <laughs> he's a... Uh, he's a uh, frickin... He's, he's the... He's the uh, cap... <sighs> I can't think of it. The Captain What's-His-Face from Futurama. Anyway, moving on. Uh, we've got supplies. Soup consumed, zero. I don't know how much soup I actually have. First aid kits used, none. Sock puppets. Sock puppets? I don't have a sock puppet. Expeditions, zero. Locations, items brought from expeditions. Crafting, okay. This, this is just a stats screen. Um, what's this button? Okay, excellent. We've got the main computer in the middle. Captain, since you've just taken command, the protocol dictates a speech must be given. A good one. Scratch that. A great one. Everyone is really looking forward to your speech, Captain. So am I. This is it. You can really show what breed of captain you will be on this incredible journey. What kind of speech will you give? Um, we can do the agility. We can do intelligence. Or we can do strength. Well, I'm only average in these two, so agility. Is this an agility speech? Is, is that how this works? We're gonna do an agility speed? What does an agility speed? We must be swift, we must be quick, we must be bold, and we must be prepared to flex where none has flexed before. It will be a weird flex, but it will be okay. All right, we'll hit the L, one of those maneuvers. I don't know what that did. Do we get to, do we get to find out? No, I think we locked it in. We've got a one counter up here. Um, uh, um, um, this scares me. End day! Oh, okay. I'm like, <laughs> the music stopped and I got scared. This must, oh, this must be the rationing. Rationing these, oh, I see! So we can give people soups, sock puppets, and, 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 and medikits. And this is our, our choice for the speech. Well, I'm gonna just turn that off for a sec, because we're not, we got a handbook. Can I open the handbook? We've got where I'd probably keep my gun that I didn't take with me. Uh, Expedition X100, system unavailable. System unavailable, system is locked right now. I guess it's because we cannot, Go on an expedition! What is this? Crafting unavailable. System disabled. Please come back later. Have a nice day. I don't appear to have any materials for this, I, I guess. And we've got soups. Here we go. We got soup six. Best food in the universe. Uh, oh, it's not soup six. I have six soups. Oh, I do have a sock puppet. Stops insanity, or so they say. I only have one sock puppet. I don't think we're all, any, any one of us is insane yet at this point. Can I use the telephone? Uh, I cannot use the telephone. What was this thing? An atomic battery is what I picked up. Well, you never know when that's going to come in handy. I think we're good to go. Uh, do we need to eat every 
today? Because I only have six soups. Because is that a whole can of soup? Do, 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 like, if I click the tick, does that mean she consumes one of our six soups? How long can I go without soups? There's there's four of We can go a day and a half if we need soup every day. You know what? Let's try to skip on the soups and see what happens. We're going to end the day. We're going to go with no meals to... I, I mean, look, Dee Dee is caffeinated, so she doesn't need the food so much. But I don't know about everybody. Everybody looks... Fun. Dee Dee looks tired, but she has her... Look, me too, Dee Dee. Me too, Dee Dee. <laughs> Elaborating on the survival against all odds angle would have been quite a choice for a speech. Unfortunately, you decided to waffle on about the superior superiority superiority of potato corn chowder over tomato soup and a few other problems of an existential nature. As far as speeches go, it was the worst one in this part of the universe. Your crew seems to be in agreement about this. Congratulations, Captain. It's day one, and you have already succeeded in bringing your people together against a common foe, no less. Myself. To cheer you up a little after this fiasco, I allowed myself to switch on the electricity generator in the back of the shuttle it will produce power for you daily okay so we're getting power now okay so we did not make a successful attribute decision I guess maybe maybe that was it maybe oh I see I see so like for a speech intelligence would have made more sense regardless of our actual capabilities with intelligence a speech should probably be made with intelligence like we don't have a charisma stat right so Maybe I shouldn't have used my, maybe I shouldn't have flexed. Maybe I shouldn't have flexed on everybody in the, uh, in the crew. Okay, I gotcha. Everyone's looking okay. Oh my god, game, cr uh, Crusader YT. Hey, welcome to the stream. I'm so glad you could make it. You get a little shoulder dance dedicated to you. Hey, welcome to the stream. I'm so glad you could make it. Thank you so much. I appreciate the follow. Thank you so very much. You made it. You did made it. You did made it. I meant to say make it, but you did made it. Welcome. Uh, how's everyone doing? Can I talk to everyone? Oh, I can! I can click on these people! That makes a lot of sense. Um, I mean, Ellis, is, a, is hunger and everything is okay. It's all okay. It's not bad. Uh, what is this? Uh, 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 apparently, I can, I think I can, oh, I see. So, I, if I, if I do that, I will act, if I ration to all, yeah, that's four. I do not want to do that. Okay, so, I can do the rationing at the end day, or apparently I can do it from individual screens. Which I appreciate because that way I don't forget who needs what. All right, well, you're okay. You're okay as well. You're okay. And DD, you're okay. Uh, you do not. Oh, you're missing one. What, what, which one are you missing? Uh, morale. Uh, DD apparently has no morale. Not because she's lost morale. Not because she's like immoral, but because I'm guessing she's me and she's the captain, so she does not have to morale herself, is what my guess is. You know some about this game, so you can help a little. Ooh, I will appreciate that. No, I don't know if there's a plot to the game. No plot spoilers, but I will accept help. Help, tips, and advice. No plot spoilers if there is one. I don't know if this is like roguelite, if there's if it's random. I really don't know much about this game at all. I know of its existence, but I do not know much about it. So I'm gonna try to like not feed anybody until we absolutely need to, and hopefully we don't need to use Mr. Sako for as long as possible. I, I don't know if I can only use Mr. Sako the once and then he's gone forever, or if if, if or what, but uh, we'll, we'll try to figure that out. Let's look at the computer. Captain, it's an important it's important to keep yourself and your crew well fed. One portion of delicious canned soup is enough to sustain a human for a few days. Excellent, I was hoping so. Even one could even one can could be the difference between life and death. Don't forget to keep good inventory of your stock unless you want to eat your own crewmates. Haha, <laughs> that was a joke. I bet we can do that and that sounds terrifying. Please appreciate it and laugh. Look, we're bonding already. This is bonding! I'm bonding with the computer! Who will perform the routine supply check? The only requirement is, is simple mathematics. I realize I might be asking a lot, but I have a good feeling about this crew, Captain. I do too, actually. If it's a simple thing of mathematics, then I want um, uh, Emmett here, who's freaking brilliant at it, to do it. I'm putting Emmett on the, on the, on the, on the case. My, my beginning speech at the beginning of this run went poorly, but I am making no more poor decisions. Only the best decisions from here on out will be made. Um, there's not a plot, but there are endings. Gotcha. Okay, okay. I feel good about that. You should feed them every five days. Then I think six cans of soup for... Th that should last us roughly... Because in five days, I'll feed us all. And then another five days, I can feed half of us. 
<laughs> so in uh, 15 days, we should all be dead. Okay, excellent. So I think I locked in my choice. I'm not going to feed anybody today. I'm putting Emmett on the case. I'm locking in my day. I assume there was nothing else to do. Day three, put me in, coach. I'm ready to play. What do we got? Good news, Captain. This shuttle came pre-stocked with an emergency food supply. Use it well. <gasps> I got a soup! The routine supply check is now complete, and it does not compute! An error was made! That's what I get for trusting humans to do the math! Minus one soup! Easy come, easy go, little high, little low. What do you mean it didn't work well? It was a simple case of mathematics. I put my most brilliant man on the case! Some of the supplies went missing, and the current number of soup cans on board is six. We're, we're right back to where we started. I can't believe this. With decent leadership and rational restraint, the reserves of food on the ship should be sufficient for the time being. That said, it is in your best interest to procure more as soon as possible. Despite the outcome, I think Emmett deserves a shot at being your payload officer. If you keep him happy enough, he will produce some minerals for you daily as long as morale is high enough. Payload officer? What does that mean? Can I assign him to payroll? Officer? Yeah, what What does that even... Oh, I, I, maybe it's a joke. Maybe I don't get it, but that's okay. And you can get random soup. I see. I did get what it seemed to be random soup and then I immediately had it taken away. How's everybody doing? Still everybody okay? Are we all still okay? No, no seriously negative consequences to deal with. Captain! The crafting module in the back of the cabin is now active. It's just like the Astro Citizen materials said. This wonderful machine lets you create something from almost nothing. All you need is a little bit of minerals, chemicals, or power. Use it to craft, recycle, and repair your supplies, as well as upgrade any items and shuttle systems. Okay. So we don't have a decision to be made here, but I will click the old check bar. Check mark. Uh, what would you like to do? We can craft? I have zero items to craft. Recycle? I have eight items to recycle. What does that mean? Turn items into resource. Oh, I see. Upgrade items to upgrade. I got nothing to upgrade. I see. I've got nothing to craft. We, we can craft soups. Apparently, we can craft cows. <laughs> that looks like a cow. That looks like a standing up, um, arms crossed cow, if ever I did see one. Uh, we got recycle. So, I, can I turn this? I can turn the soup into what seems to be materials and energy. It looks like materials and energy. Ten and five of all the things. So I can, uh, I've got armor apparently. That, that must be the thing in the back corner or something. Well, I don't need to recycle anything for materials at the moment. So I'm not going to. Apparently I do have one material and two energy. I guess I'll continue to get power every day from the back. Maybe just one a day. And then I guess Emmett's going to be making me some minerals every day. Is that what the computer seemed to imply? Is that what it implied about Emmett? Payload officer, if you keep him happy enough, he will produce some minerals for you daily. Yeah, apparently if we keep Emmett happy, he will just produce minerals out of his buttocks every day. Good work, em em Emmett. Continue to poop materials for me, and I will love you for a long time. End my day. I think that's all we got. I think that's all we got right now. These space people are very hungry people. In the original 60 seconds, they only ate half a can. I was wondering about that, if you had to use a whole can or not. Because, you know, like... If you're starving, depending on how big the cans are, and they look like pretty beefy cans, like, you know, some of the store butts cans you can get IRL, you know, you can feed, like, two or three people or whatever with a can of I mean, not me. I'm a hungry space person. I eat a whole can of soup, sometimes two cans of soup. I'm a very soup-hungry person. The cow is for an ending, but only if you get a certain planet. Also, you land on planets if you survive long enough. It did see the game did seem to tell me about landing as being a possibility, so that does not surprise me. Captain, I told you I switched on the crafting system in the back of the shuttle. I thought it's simple enough to be operated by humans, but perhaps I was right. There was nothing I wanted to craft. There was nothing I could craft, nothing I could upgrade, and I wasn't going to recycle my stuff. Computer, how dare you mock me? Are you mocking me, computer? Computer's mocking me. How dare him. Captain, fantastic news. The scanners have picked up a container floating in our vicinity. I wonder what's inside. What now, Captain? Should we try to pull the container on board? Well, this sounds like a space virus waiting to happen. Let's make it so! Make it so, number two. I'm all about collecting the mysterious containers that flow by our shuttle. It could be a can of soup! It could be a can of mysterious soup, and I am down for that. Yeah, this thing is still not working yet. I assume that this is what we'll use... Oh, expedition level one. I didn't realize they had levels. But I assume this is what we'll use when we go outside and, you know, expedite. I think that's all we can do. So, day. Oh, wait. How's everyone doing? How you doing? Hell, everything's okay. 
Everything's okay. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. Okay. We'll go into the next die. There we go. And we're all dead. No, I'm just kidding. Can you imagine? We all died. Spontaneous. Why do I have a cow? I got a cow! The mysterious cargo of the scanner spotted yesterday is now on board. Opening the box in three, dose, one. Closer examination of the container revealed cableistic markings inside the box. It was fitting, as the only thing inside was a mysterious artifact. What could it be? What powers does it hold? Do you believe in that sort of mumbo jumbo? Astro citizen captains are not supposed to be superstitious. We got a cow. April's hungry. Emmett is asking for more rations, and Tom's asking for more rations. I don't know what that means compared to just being. I guess April is not asking for more rations, but is hungry? Question mark. Also, I got a cow. Holy cow! Artifact. I have the cow. Wait. Can I upgrade it? I must upgrade the cow. I must craft cow. No. No. The cow. The cow must be cowed. Apparently, it only. Rec I need. I need ten p more power. I do have four power and three minerals. One day. One day. We, we could do some recycling, but let's not. I say we don't. I say we don't do that. Dee is doing fine. Emmett's hungry. Emmett. It is day five, so how about we do give you a soup? We'll give you a soup. Yes. Uh, what, what does this button mean? Okay. <laughs> what does the giant check mark mean? Tom Thompson is hungry as well. Okay. Fine. And then, April, you, you seem to also be hungry. So, I guess we're going to use up half of our soup. It is day five. That's a thing. Check our computer. Space travel can be dull, but there are still tons of ways to make your own fun. Trust me. I live in a computer. Let's design a game. Your game will need a core mechanic, which could revolve around an item. Get creative. What kind of game will you design? Uh, nothing. A uh, lighter or a shovel. What do you mean by, like, this isn't going to use one of these things, right? This isn't. What shovel? We're gonna make Minecraft. We're gonna put Minecraft into the computer. Everyone's gonna be happy. We're all gonna start our own space YouTube channels where we all play Minecraft. That's what we're gonna do. I think, I, th I hope it doesn't destroy my shovel. I'm really hoping it doesn't destroy my shovel. It could, it could destroy my shovel. I don't know. Uh, Game Crusader, are you? I have no idea. It could be soup. Worship, worship the cow. All hail the cow. I think the cow is our new idol. I think we worship the, it's the holy order of the cow. Or welcome to the stream. I'm so glad you can make it. Welcome, welcome to the stream. You like space games? Well, welcome to 60 parsecs, a survival type thingy, my bobber. Make shovel night. Shovel night. Yeah, we could. Yeah, maybe it'll be shovel night. Okay, let's go ahead and end the day. And we've got three soups going out and we're making a shovel based game. End the day. Make it so. De numero seis. You designed your game around the shovel. The core mechanic of your game was tag. You being the captain were always it. You chased the rest of the crew around the shuttle trying to smack them in the head. Wait, IRL or in the computer? In the computer, right? Uh, you played until no one wanted to play with you anymore. Still, the mood on the shuttle lightened. Okay, so it still went well. You should eat something, Captain. I might. April's not hungry, Emmett is not hungry, Emmett has been taking care of his mental health and is now alert! You can count on him to be more productive around here, for a while at least. Good work, Emmett! He can make- he can- he can poop more minerals for us. Tom doesn't need any more rations right now. You're darn right you don't, Tom! I'll tell you what, Tom, you- you gotta know your place, Tom! Alright, Dee Dee, I'm the captain, I'm eating a soup. It's happening. I don't think anyone else needs food. Emmett is currently alert, good work, Emmett, and Tom is okay. And April is okay. And we can go to the computer. We do have an empty soup cannon down here at the bottom. Attention, Captain! I'm detecting a leak in our reactor coolant system. In case you were wondering, this is not good. Did I mention you should not inhale anything that comes out of the reactor? Please, don't. Also, how are you going to fix it? Uh, we can do nothing, or we can do mask. Do we have enough masks for every... Mask seems like... I can't click on mask. I can't click on mask! I don't have a mask! I'm going to do nothing. <laughs> We're not going to repair the reactor system. Look, the reactor's fine. The reactor's fine. The coolant is just getting some air. You got to cool the coolant sometimes, right? It's just getting some air. Lock it in. Because I don't have any masks, so that's going to be a bit of a problem. Um, I'm sorry that Geor Georgie had to go forever. Georgie had to go forever. What does that mean? What does that mean? 
Were you Georgie? I don't remember. Oh, you were, were you? Oh yeah, you're my uh, you're my Twitch subscriber. Georgie had to go forever. Is it? Did you change your name on here? Fair enough. Fair enough. I forgot. I, I I didn't make that connection. I didn't make that connection. But his name, the Georgie Costover 1923, will live on forever in in, in the Magic Man mode Twitch history. I hit them IRL. Oh, fantastic. You don't have a mask. Oh, no. I know. I know. This is probably bad. Lock it in. We're all gonna die. Day seven. Did we make it a week? Did we survive a week? Oh, we look okay. I mean, Dee Dee looks tired, but of course she is. Teamwork goes so much better when a group of humans is faced with the possibility of radioactive death. With all the chaos and cries for help, I can't even tell which one of you managed to fix the leak in the end. Too bad you inhaled quite a bit of coolant in the process. Emmett. It's still alert. You don't need extra rations. For now. <laughs> okay, thank you, computer. Thank you for that. Uh, close that down. Uh, actually, I forget what the... What, what does this do again? That's us. This is our goals. We still... We have still not done those things. And these are our, like... Okay, stats. Got it. I'm good. Uh, our soup is getting very low. And it's making me scared. It's making me sad. Uh, but everyone's doing okay. We're doing okay. We're doing all right. What's the computer got for us? The oxygen level is drooping. We have a malfunctioning filter in the main onboard support circuit for oxygen waste, or Moscow for short. I don't know who named it, and we cannot rule out sabotage. You should fix it. You can reach Moscow from the zero G space between the hole and the outer deck. Are we, oh, are we sending someone out there to do that? Okay, okay wait, I gotta think about this. The oxygen level's dropping. We have a malfunctioning filter in the main onboard support circuit for the oxygen waste. Okay. It's just a filter. How sm do we need strength, smarts, or flexibility for this, though? That's what I'm wondering. Okay, well, who should we... Well, maybe we can send someone who's kind of... Maybe we should just send Tom Thompson, because he's clever and fit. So he should be able to accomplish this, right? He's not the most agile, but he's... Because he, uh, Emmett's our resident genius, but he's wimpy, so he might not have the strength for this question mark? We could send April. She's pretty... Actually, she's pretty great all around, too. Her intelligence is only average, though. I don't, I don't know how much intelligence we need for this. I could go myself. I could take the I could take the reins as captain and go myself, but we're going to send Tom Thompson. Tom Thompson, you need to go fix that filter situation. Look, you're a, a, a dashing, eye-patchy old man. I think you can. I think you got this. I think you've got it in you. I, you, I think you've got the... I think you've got... The courage, yes, that's what it is. The courage and the bravery to accomplish the filter replacement task that I require. I'm sick now, oh boy. It's actually a character from Papers, Please, one of my favorite games of all time. I've heard of Paper, Please. I've, I wanted to get it forever ago, but I never got it and I've never played it. Little Potato Man, Little Potato Man. Is that how Jacksepticeye calls him? Oh, I don't know, I don't know what reference. I don't know who's Little Potato Man. I don't know who that is. I just wanted to sing it. All right, I'm going to end my day. I locked it in. Tom Thompson, to replace that filter. I hope you come back alive. He's back alive! As Tom descended below decks, he noticed an obscene hand drawing of an American and a Soviet. Ooh, Tom blushed furiously, then tripped into a mass of wires like a fork diving into his spaghetti plate. Still tangled, he forgot to pause the airflow before removing the filter. When the carbon dioxide hit him, Tom made a face not unlike the Soviet in that drawing. Many brain cells must have died in that very moment. The sacrifice was not in vain, though. We now have a fully functional air filter. Wait, did he just lose intelligence? Hang on, I gotta figure this out. Let's go to our... Uh, intelligence. Is he no longer clever? No, he went from clever to just average. No. <laughs> I don't want him to lose. I don't want anyone to lose intelligence from what is going on. The whoa, whoa, whoa. Main computer status. Make a decision. Well, yeah, obviously. Your attention is required, Captain. This is most abnormal. We are registering unknown transmissions, but I cannot identify who is sending them, and more importantly, what they contain. It might be a solar flare interference, or worse, a new dope type of Soviet encryption. We need to decipher these signals as soon as possible, for all we know, our survival depends on it. Who do you want to put in charge of monitoring these communications? We're going to put our genius boy Emmett on it. That sounds like an intelligence thing. Hopefully he doesn't become less intelligent for doing it or go insane or something stupid. Emmett, you're on the case. 
How are we doing? Are we still all okay? I mean, at least Emmett's sanity is alert, so he should be able to super focus in on those transmissions. I think he's got this. I think he can do this. I believe in all of you. I wholeheartedly believe in all of you to do what I require of you without any questions asked. I'm running out of soup! First contact! Oh, what does that mean? Captain, you need to see this. I am not easily excited, but this is one of the greatest moments for humanity and human-made AI alike. We are not alone in this universe. These signals we intercepted are finally decrypted. They are alien transmissions, as in coming from other life forms. And no, I do not mean the reds. It's something we have never seen before. There seems to be a number of intelligent civilizations in this galaxy. The signals are coming from everywhere. We can safely assume we are going to meet some of them sooner or later. Our, or rather your, life will never be the same, Captain. You should eat something, Captain. April's doing well mentally. She looks alert. April is asking for more rations. Emma is asking for more rations. Tom is doing well mentally. He looks alert. And Tom is asking for some soup. Everybody's hungry, and I only have two soups. So that's not fantastic. But we've made contact, apparently, for whatever that's worth. I am sorry that Georgie had to go forever. Oh, no, I already read that. I already read that. Little potato man. I could be brave and do it myself. Tom, you do it. <laughs> yes, that is exactly what happened, and I regret nothing. The uh, Papers, Please is fun, but wouldn't be safe for your channel. Why not? Why would it not be safe for my channel? What does that mean? I think everything is safe for my channel. If it's if it's like a mature warning, I would just do what I did with Hackblade and just put a, a, a warning at the front of it. I, I pr probably... Aliens, cool. All right, aliens. All right, what's on the main computer? Captain, we're now entering a field of cosmic gas. Are we not going to address the fact that we've encrypted, tr transmit, tr trans -rece that we've received alien encryption trans transmissions? <laughs> Captain, we're now entering a field of cosmic gas. Its origin is unknown, though I have a theory. Uh oh, can you smell that? Did someone forget to fart? Did you forget to brush their teeth today? No, it's just that gas leaking inside the shuttle. Somebody could try to isolate some of the gas to use later, avoiding the leak side effects. Oh boy. No, it's just that the gas is leaking. So we've got a gas leak. We could put our, our, our boy Emmett on the task again. We could. We could put Emmett on, on it. He's, he's, he's smart. He's got the smarts. Um... Oh, wait, why is Tom Thompson brilliant all of a sudden? Whoa, whoa, wait, when did Tom become brilliant? Oh, Emmett's become a genius at some point. April's brilliant. I'm still average. <laughs> when did Tom become brilliant? He was average. Okay, interesting, interesting. Should we... Put Tom on the case so that he can go face the gas leak himself. Uh, somebody could try to isolate some of the gas to use later. I, uh, Tom, Tom, use your newfound intelligence to figure out. I believe in you, Tom. You have to earn that medal somehow. Yeah, he's alert. I, maybe it's because everyone's alert. Uh, I'm not alert, but maybe it's because they're alert that they're suddenly smarter. So we're like all hungry, right? Yeah, we're like all hungry, and we have two cans of soup, so this is a bit of an issue. We, we've got a bit of an issue, and I don't like it. No, we didn't make it to day 10 yet. We didn't get a full five days in before everyone got hungry. You know what? Screw all of us. Oh, he's growing a bit of a mustache. Emmett, you're growing a little bit of a mustache there. I'm proud of you. All right, we're going to go into the next day. I'm not going to feed anybody. Screw us all. <laughs> we're going to get to day 10 before I feed anybody. No one's eating until day 10, darn it. And we're all dead. No, okay, no, we're fine. We're still alive. Tom did a great job containing the gas leaking inside the shuttle. He also succeeded in isolating enough of the gas for us to rework it into useful chemicals. Smart. Oh, we can probably make some soup. We can probably craft some soup. I'm sure you'll agree that it's fitting to make Tom your science officer starting tomorrow. Tom will be generating useful chemicals for you on a daily basis. I still feel hungry. April continues to look alert. April's still hungry. Tom is still complaining about the lack of rations. So everyone's still hungry. So I've got it. He's a, he's our science. I, I probably should have put Emmett on the task since he's an actual genius. But uh, I'm not complaining. We can do some crafting. We can craft a soup. It will cost me ten of those chemicals, and I think it's gonna be worth it. I think it's gonna be worth it. It has some profanity and other stuff like that, but the mature warning would work too. Yeah, that's what I did with Hackblade. I was interested. Feed yourself and Emmett, probably. I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna try to feed three of us now. I'm gonna make a soup. Make me a soup. Oh, will it take me a day to actually make it? Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, well that's a thing. Um. Yeah, I can't upgrade anything. So yeah, soup. 
I guess it's, I guess I can only do one thing at a time. So I guess I'm making soup tomorrow. So let's not starve. Now, Dee Dee's caffeinated, so she she doesn't actually require as much food. So I'm guessing she can actually probably go longer without food. So I'm not gonna feed myself. As terrifying as that sounds. As terrifying as that sounds, I'm not gonna feed myself. Let's see, what do we got here? Oh my gosh, you found a holographic chess set on board. You've never heard of holographic chess? It's like regular chess, but with big round board and your pieces are holographic monsters. Because it doesn't use physical pieces, I can totally play you. You'll have to input my, uh, my moves, but just remember, I control the airflow to where you sleep at night. You better not cheat is all I'm saying. Wanna play a game? Uh, we can use the agility, which makes no sense, or we can use intelligence. Let's use intelligence. It's only average, but agility wouldn't make sense, right? Like, I, I'm better at agility, but like, would it work? Would it even work? I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my average intelligence to try to beat the computer at holographic chess. I think that sounds legit. We're gonna feed uh, Tom, because he's producing my science stuff, and we're gonna feed Emmett because he's producing my minerals. So far, we haven't even used April, and I'm not feeding myself because I should get soup tomorrow, question mark? And I don't require as much food because I'm caffeinated, so hopefully that makes sense. End the day, I've locked it in. Those are the, the, those are the choices that I've decided to live with. Use the one you have more of, Mo. Use what that I have more of. Oh wait, did I have to choose like, uh, did I actually have to choose the science thing? Oh, I have my can of soup, so I think it works, perfect. Choose the one that, oh, you mean the, uh, the, uh, the attribute. I should have used agility instead of the intelligence. Okay, we'll try to do that next time because I'm too late now, it's too late. I don't want to rub it in your face that I defeated you at holographic chess, but ha ha ha, why are you mad? How in the universe did you expect to beat me? The computer always wins. Oh, maybe we should have let the computer win. So that we didn't upset the computer. Dry your tears. I made a perfectly legal move. You, on the other hand, should be thankful I didn't let you cheat your way to victory. I'm not the most forgiving person with losing at board games. Crafting completed. N uh, new item available. Soup. Oh, okay. We got the soup for that. April is starving. Make sure she eats right. Emma is doing okay. Soup-wise, Tom has stopped asking for more soup for now. Okay. Uh, yeah, she is looking a little emaciated, but we can feed you. if I Can, if, can I craft another soup? I can even upgrade some stuff. Oh. Uh, Oh, I can, I can upgrade the artifact because I have the energies, but let's not. Let's let's do a craft instead. Let's craft another soup because I need that. I need a soup tomorrow. Yeah, because she's starving. So we're going to feed you. You're getting some soup and you're good to go. Uh, I'm not. I'm going to go one more day without eating because hopefully I don't immediately die because uh, you're doing fine. You're doing fine. You're, you're, I li at least you're alert. At least April is alertly aware of how badly she's starving right now. I'm gonna go one more day without food for Dee Dee, but we should get some soup tomorrow. Captain, I'm detecting a troubling buildup of mental tension. Recommend recommended course of action throw an epic party. I took the liberty of inviting myself. Invite the entire crew, but of course, the more the merrier, I guess. How about we invite someone new, eh, Captain? Someone you don't know. Or we make ourselves a new companion. Yes! How do we do it? I still can't use the mask because I don't have a mask. I could choose to do nothing. I could bring the sock puppet. Would that would that use my sock puppet? Like if I use the sock puppet, am I expending the sock puppet? Like will that get rid of the sock? I mean, no one's insane yet. I have no idea what this is gonna give me. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna use the sock puppet. Lock it in, Captain. We're gonna do it. Or it's the first week of the semester. My love and hate relationship with grad school is back. Welcome back to the love hate relationship. It's a it's a roller coaster yo yo ride of love and hate and love and more hate. You'll keep it, I think. Okay, that makes me happy. That makes that, that makes me happy. So I think we're doing that. Okay, let's do it. Let's lock it in. Lock in our day. We're feeding one person, but I should have soup tomorrow unless everything went really poorly. I don't know if there's a chance of failing making soup, but I hope not. That was one super party, Captain. I loved how you put a sock on your hand yesterday and pretended it's a person. A mysterious Dolores, apparently. You had quite a lively debate with it, too. Well, desperation breeds unexpected chatmates, doesn't it? I found it a little weird when you started arguing with the sock and eventually tore it apart. You've got quite a temper, Captain. The important part is you blew off some steam. I lost my sock puppet. Uh, I bet that did nothing for me. I bet that did literally nothing for me. Crafting complete. I should have done nothing is what I should have done. Crafting complete. A new item available. Soup. I'm, I, I, you are now alert. I'm alert, apparently. You're starving, Captain. A serving of soup, it would be in order. I think you're right. April's complaining about an empty stomach. Well, April, you're just going to have to deal with that because I'm eating the last soup that we have because I'm starving, bro. It's all I got. It's all I got. All right, everyone else is doing fine, though. 
like she's hungry, but she's not starving anymore. So there's there's that. There's that. Okay, uh, did April, do you eat more than people normally do? Like, I feel like you're getting hungrier faster than other people. That could be a thing. It might be a thing. Let's go over here. I can do some more crafting. I can't craft any more soups. I can craft some tape with my minerals. I can, uh, uh ooh, I can craft an, uh, a communicator. Maybe we can do that to, trans like, receive that transmission with those aliens. But also, we could upgrade the artifact. We could upgrade our cow. We could upgrade the cow. Do we upgrade the cow or do we craft? It's going to take 10 minerals. I have exactly 10 minerals. Communicator or cow is what I'm leaning. I mean, the t tape would be good too, but the communicator, we did, we did make contact with aliens, maybe. Communicator or cow? Communicator or a cow? I'm thinking cow. <laughs> No, the puppet. Yeah, you're right. I believe you were in the English department, right? I was. I am. Yes, that's right. English. English. That is the thing that I decided to do. <laughs> Communicator, definitely you can get more stuff out of it. I think you're right. Let's, let's try to craft all the things we can craft before we worry about upgrading. I think you're onto something. Let's craft the communicator. Checkmate. And let's look at the computer. Captain, wake up! We're approaching some sort of celestial body. It resembles a moon, but I think it's a small planet. Let me run a quick scan. 96%. 98%. 100%. Scan complete. I was right. A small, rocky planet with no organic life forms. But there's a lot of movement down there. Strange. My scanners detect a breathable atmosphere, but low in oxygen. Uh, Captain, if you want to land on this planet safely, you will have to fix up a small malfunction with our steering system, since we're not even able to turn at the moment. Oh, and you will have to do it before we float away from the planet. Hurry! Uh, what? what? I, can, I, I can't use gun, because I didn't bring my gun. I can use a lighter. I can use the handbook. The handbook probably makes more sense. It's probably going to use my hand. Do we want to go down there? No organic life forms, but there is movement. So that's either inorganic life forms... Like, made out of, like, silicone or something. Or it could be, like, lava. Or, you know, some geographic movement situation. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it by the handbook. We're gonna land on this planet. We're gonna do some expeditions. I hope... <laughs> I hope this is a good idea. I'm gonna lock it in. <laughs> I think that's what we're gonna do. I don't know if that's a good idea. If you get the yellow planet, upgrade cow. Okay, I see. Upgrade the cow if I get yellow planet. Oh, is that the planet that we're looking at? A strange new world. That is the planet we're looking at. Oh. I see. We're gonna go land on it. We're gonna go land on that sucker. I'm gonna handbook our way. Am I starving right now? Oh god. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm feeding myself today. That's right. I forgot. I'm doing that like literally right now. All right. Day. Lock me in. <gasps> Achievement unlock. Space colonization. Colonization. Oh, there's two men and two women. Are we about to colonize? Are we about to repopulate? Probably. Look, even Tom's growing his beard. Goal achieved. Find an appropriate landing spot. Goals updated. Check goals section for details. You flip through your trusty handbook looking for some kind of manual or at least a how to land a spaceship for dummies chapter. Emmett noticed you desperately fumbling with the book and helped you find the right chapter in just in time. Together you replugged the crucial plug and steered the shuttle toward the ground. It was not a soft landing. Nobody's doing great after this stunt. Not even me. I'm shaken to my cores. Yes, all of them. Your face had a pretty unpleasant close encounter with our communicator module. And at least one of these things is useless now. Consider fixing it if you want to avoid radio silence in the future. What's next, Captain? Maybe you could use the information I found while scanning the environment. There are robotic units not far from here, but my scan detected very few aggressive signatures. <gasps> oh, friendly robots. I think these are peaceful automatons, most of them. Perhaps they can be of help to you, and in case you perish, at least I'll have company. So it's a win-win situation. So we lost our lighter that I didn't use, I think. No, we, we didn't lose it, it's just broken. Apparently we broke our lighter. I don't know how we broke our lighter, but we broke our lighter. April is still complaining about the lack of rations. Crafting completed, new item available, we got the communicator. And I am hungry, and it would like to eat. Tom's asking for, we're all hungry. Guys, we're all hungry, and ain't none of us got soup. So we've got our goals. Our current, so we found an appropriate landing spot. We need to await further instructions, all right? I guess that's what we're going to do. Oh, no, this thing, this pipe's burst. I don't like that. We have not yet made seven successful attribute decisions. I don't know if we've made a single one so far, if I'm honest with you. Can we do any crafting? Can't do any crafting. 
I need to make more soups and I need more sciences for that. Tom needs to science harder. Uh, we can do some upgrading and we can spend the energy. So we can spend energy, excuse me, to craft, uh, uh, to upgrade something. You can't spend energy to upgrade. That's only, not, not upgrade, to craft. Okay, so only science makes the soup and the sock and only minerals makes the tape. Oh, here's the repair. Items to repair. When you repair a lighter, that's going to require science. But I want to spend science on soup. Okay, well, that's a thing. Upgrading, though. Upgrading costs my energy right now. We could upgrade the communicator with our 10 energy. We might do that. Do we upgrade? We could upgrade the armor since we're going outside soon, maybe? Question mark. We've got an artifact we can upgrade. The first aid kit. Atomic battery. Should we upgrade the communicator right away? We have the energy for it. Oh, that's blue. Well, that's cool. Be careful of the war. I can repair the lighter. I can't repair it yet. Upgrade the medikit? You want me to upgrade the medikit? Okay, we'll do it. We'll upgrade the medikit. I'll follow your advice. I'll follow your lead. I Because that's not a bad idea. I, just, I wanted to upgrade something since I know it'll take a day to do. And we have the resources, so I don't want to just hang on to it. You know what I mean? C computer! Captain, the expedition module in the back of the cabin is now active. My advice, order someone to put the spacesuit on and send them outside. The shuttle will have to do for now, but it's not fit to be a permanent shelter. Let the space colonization commence. Are we actually trying to colonize this? Like, like we're th this is our resting place. Like, this is the end, right? This is what we're doing. This is what we're doing with our lives now. Oh, God. So this is now active. Expedition X100. Destination, character equipment. Two out of 12 locations discovered. Oh, God. We've got this boy. We've got a village. There's a chance for minerals. There's some sort of radioactive hazard, and it'll take three length. That's probably days, isn't it? What's this thing? We want something that won't take that long. They're all going to take three days? Tourist information. Chance for energy. Hazards are grass, I, I guess, and length is three days as well. Oh, no. Everyone's hungry, though. Everyone's hungry. Is no one starving though? Tom's looking pretty good. Uh, like, like at least he's look, he's looking happy. Like, look, April looks angry. She's always looked angry. Tom's looking happy. Emmett's thinking about life. I'm just tired. Uh, oh, our, that's our communicator. Nicely done. I feel like we should send somebody out, right? But I don't want whoever we send out to starve while we're out. So here's the question: Do I send myself? Do I send myself? Because I've got the most chance of not starving to death when I go. That's the thing. If I send one of these other peons, especially April, because I think she gets hungry fast. I think you get hungry. The game didn't tell me that, but I think you eat too much. <laughs> but uh, if I send one of them out, what if they starve to death out there? I don't know. It's day 13. We're all getting hungry. Like, can we look at our uh, data? What, 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 who just got hungry? I don't know. I think I, I. I don't know. I don't know. I think I just got hungry. I think sending myself might be a good idea. Might be a good idea. Send yourself, Game Crusader. You say send myself. I'm thinking send myself too. Replace April with the big guy. I'm not. Wait, what do you mean with the big guy? What Tom? I can't replace her. It's too late. All right, I'm gonna send myself. I'm gonna go on an expedition. Here's the question: Do I go to? The tourist information, or do I go to the villa? Maybe we should go to the tourist information, right? And get some what do we need what do we need a chance do we want energy or do we want minerals energy will get a soup though right uh i'm crafting right now energy is what we need for soup so let's go ahead and go for wait armor there we go and go for the tourist so we can try to get some en energy confirm character i cannot send myself never mind my plan my plans my carefully laid plans um i'm thinking you know what I want to send April, because here's my thinking. If something goes horribly, horribly, horribly wrong, Emmett is currently producing minerals every day, and Tom is currently producing science every day. April has done nothing but eat food this entire time. April, uh, I'm going to send you. You're you're agile. You're very smart. You're strong. I think you can do this. April, as long as you don't starve to death out there, I believe in you. You're probably going to starve to death, but I believe in you. I'm sending April. Equipment. Uh, oh, God. Do I want to send her with... Do I even want to send her with anything? Um, that's armor. Protects clumsy astro citizens when they fall. 
Should I do that? If grass means environment, then armor might be a good idea. Uh, or a cow. Counter mystery with more mystery. Yeah, that tells me nothing. The atomic battery harness electricity from anywhere. Oh, maybe we want to send the battery so we can charge the battery when we go. Maybe that makes sense. Handbook contains a chapter about chemical compounds. I don't know how that would help. Shovel to dig things up. Communicator, contact aliens, contact your explorer, contact everyone. Maybe we should send them with a communicator so that we can contact them. Maybe? Or do I have to have the communicator with me? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, oh, next friend. There's an, uh, no, there's another guy. Okay, there's another guy that I could have taken with me. Oh, I think he was probably, he was probably the guy that was crying in a corner that I ignored by April. How <laughs> sexist. I'm not being sexist. I'm not being sexist. Producing science. So I think we're going to send, I think we're going to try to send her with the communicator. Um, I, I uh, upgrade expedition system to unlock this stuff. This is also locked. Do I want to send her with the armor though? I, it's supposed to be friendly out here. I just don't know what this hazard means. Armor, no armor. It was the crying guy. Okay. I'm going to send you with the communicator and the armor. See, what if she starves to death and I just lose these items for now? I'm sending her. I'm sending her to be fully prepared. I'm giving her all the things. Don't starve on me, April. I believe in you. No matter how much it sounds like I don't believe in you, I believe in you. I ain't got no soups. I ain't got, I ain't got no nothing. She's going to be gone for three days. All right. We're doing it. I'm locking it in. I'm locking it in. Achieve unlocked. The tinkerer. I got the tinkerer thing. April's gone. The ultimate answer to life, the universe, and everything is soup. April left to check out the most logical location to visit, the tourist info. Let's hope she finds something more than dusty brochures and tacky souvenirs. You remain alert. Emmett keeps asking for soup. Tom continues to look alert. Tom keeps asking for soup. Upgrade complete, new item available, modern first aid kit. Emmett says he's glad to have you as his captain. Oh, I'm glad Emmett likes me. I'm glad I'm making just barely good enough decisions that people like me. Oh, they like me. Oh, they really like me. Yes, morale is loyal. That's actually really cool. Uh, you are not loyal, apparently. I didn't realize you were a cheater. Um, and I'm doing fine, and, and, and she's gone. April's gone. I don't know if I can communicate with her or not. I got a computer. April is calling in with a grim request. Yes! She has come across the long-forgotten remains of a group of previous alien explorers. She's requesting to search them. Looting corpses is morally questionable, but we're in dire need. Besides, these folks have been dead for hundreds of years. Will you deny April's request? Oh, what a trick question. Will I deny her request? Well, look, she's request like she's requesting to search them. So no, I will not I will not deny. So yes, loot the dead bot. They're dead. What do you mean morally questionable? We need to survive. First and foremost, we're important. I'm important. I'm the only person in this ship that matters, and I need to live, darn it. <laughs> I mean, we. Wait, what, do, what do you mean, I? I didn't say I. I said we. I totally mean we. There's no I in team. There's a me in team, but shh, shut up. All right, so we're going we're gonna to say yes. Loot the bodies. She might come back a little, like, her morality might be a little skewed when she comes back, but I'm going to take that risk. I got nothing to repair, upgrade, or craft. I can do some recycling. We're not starving yet, though. We're not starving yet. We're not starving yet. We're fine. We're fine. Now that I know that we can go from hungry to starving, we're fine. We're fine. We don't need. We don't. We don't need to recycle anything. We're fine. We don't need any materials. Granted, when, once we're we're uh, at the point where uh, we need to recycle, it probably costs time. Yeah, it takes one day to recycle stuff. Um, is anything like soup? Like the first aid kit's worth a lot of minerals, but we just upgraded it. That's why everything's worth just ten and five. Okay. You know what? No, I believe in April. I believe April will come back to us. I'm not going to get enough science to produce soup. We're so screwed. Uh, we need, wait, we need energy. We, uh, crud, crud, do I, they only give me, if, in order to get, I, I could recycle one thing to get one can of soup. That's the thing. Nope, we're not doing it. We're not recycling. I'm not recycling anything. Darn it. <laughs> I am anti-recycling. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Okay, April, you got this. April, uh, come, she will. April, come, she will. A nice Simon and Garfunkel song. Is it? I don't know it. Loot the dead. I will. I will absolutely loot the dead. L looting dead commencing. I'm not going to craft anything because I can't end the day. I will not deny her request to loot. So loot. 100% loot. 
Uh, we're not doing great. Uh, I saw Tom. Tom looks scared of something. Goals updated. Check goals section for details. April reported that she searched the remains of the ancient astronauts for supplies. She said it was a struggle even to move such gargantuan creature. Wait, I didn't know they were huge. Their race was so big you could fit in the arm of one of their spacesuits? What? Maybe we can eat them. Look, situation's getting kind of dire. Maybe we can eat the gargantuan long-dead aliens that hopefully aren't virused and gonna kill us all. She did not find any supplies, which may be disappointing, but uh, was the most realistic outcome. Still, she made it to the next checkpoint on schedule. You remain alert. You could use some more rash. I know. Tom continues to look alert. Emmett is starving. He won't survive without soup. Tom is starving. He should definitely eat something. I don't have something. Wait, if they're starving, does that mean they're gonna die, like, literally tomorrow? Like, literally tomorrow? I got a new goal. I'll wait for them to fix the shuttle's communication system. I don't know how to do that. I don't, I don't know how to do that. Repair. I've My lighter? Is my lighter my communication system? Do I actually have to click on the pipe? No? I don't know how to... I don't... I don't know. I don't know how to fix the communication system. Captain, we're unable to detect transmissions of... Unknown, we were unable to detect transmissions of unknown origin. Unfortunately, the communications console was damaged during landing and we cannot make anything out of them, or reply for that matter. We could hardwire a primitive field communicator to bypass the damaged subsystems and access the shuttle's external transmitter and receiver. Well, I can't do that because I sent my communicator off with April, who's probably going to die before she gets here, so I'm going to do nothing. And poor old Tom. I'm starving. No, they're all gonna die. You're all gonna die. Should I? Should I? Should I recycle? They're gonna die tomorrow, aren't they? They're gonna die tomorrow, aren't they? I, 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 I die. Woo, giant dead aliens with nothing on them. I know. It's so disappointing. You gave April the things you needed. I noticed. I noticed this. I know this now. The artifact, the artifact will guide and save us. The guard, the, uh, will protect us. The artifact will protect us. Uh, I think April comes back tomorrow. Oh God, we're not gonna have any suit. I need to recycle something, don't I? I need, I, I have to, should I recycle the, the artifact? Should I recycle the artifact? It's the only thing that I don't know what it, I'm recycling the artifact. I'm doing, I'm locking it in. We're, we're gonna get some energy. I'm going. <laughs> We're gonna lose Tom and Emmett. Oh no. Oh no. This is it. This is gonna be it. They're gonna be dead. They're gonna be just corpses. No, they're still alive. They're still alive. Oh, thank God. Goal achieved. Await further instructions. Your lack of a handheld communicator effectively stopped you from fixing the communications console. Too bad. We remain stuck here with no way to contact the outside world. Our situation has not improved. I urge you to connect an operational communicator to the communications console as soon as possible, Captain. April is still out on an expedition. Emmett is still starving. Tom still looks starved. Recycling operation complete. I did it. I had to. Man, I had to. I need to get soup. You are starving, Captain. You should definitely eat something. Uh, Tom is weak. He's getting worse by the hour, Captain. Consider sharing the first aid kit with him before it's too late. The first aid kit? Oh. I can use the first aid kit? Oh yeah, he's start oh yeah, his health is weak now. Oh, I see. Oh, is that what starving does? Is lowers their health and then they die? Maybe they do. So maybe a, my med kit can keep him alive for a little bit longer? Okay. That that might be the case. All right, so we're going to go into here. We need to craft uh Oh god. Oh god, no. I'm just looking at my options here. I'm just looking at my options. We need to craft food. We need to craft a soup. ASAP, so that's gonna take a day to do. So we're crafting soup right now. I'm gonna give you the med kit, because uh, apparently that will heal you. Treat sickness, injuries, and the plague. Hopefully you don't just die tomorrow anyway, because since you're still starving. Because uh, I don't have food. I don't have food until tomorrow. And then hopefully April comes back and returns. Captain, I found something interesting on the surface of the planet. Looks like somebody passed their time by playing a supersized version of tic-tac-toe, but never completed this particular game. The game pieces consist of minerals that we could use. Now, I'm not one for ruining someone else's fun, but I think the winner is clear by looking at the board, so they shouldn't mind if we mess up their O's and X's. Should we take the liberty of gathering those pieces and using them as resources? Probably. Somebody passed their time with Tic Tac Toe, but never completed. I Maybe they're long gone. Maybe they won't be coming back. They're made of minerals. Yes. Yes, we're harvesting them. Yes, harvest the minerals. No matter what the consequences are, we're all <laughs> we're all dying. So this is what things this is how it needs to go. This is what needs to happen. 
Ooh, congratulations, Game Crusader. You beat the boss. Things aren't going well. They're not going super well. We don't really need the cow, so yeah, that's what I was thinking too. April hurry back. I think she comes back next time. Soup time. Not yet. Not yet. Hopefully the the med kit will keep him. I hope. I'm hoping. Take everything. They'll be angry that we spoiled their game and come after us. Probably. Probably. But that's a chance that I have to be willing to take. Next day. Yeah, I, I have to take that. Okay, please don't all be dead. We're all dead. We're all dead. Every single one of us. No, we're alive. We're all still alive. Uh, April's not back. Is it three days there and three days back? Or is she dead? She's dead. April died. Uh, the dismantling of the supersized tic-tac-toe game in progress was a success. Whoever abandoned it was nowhere to be seen. And he returned with quite a hefty load of minerals, thank God. Yes, they were a bit hard to carry to the ship, being ginormous and all. But you've performed splendidly. That'll teach them to leave their toys lying on the floor, or, or planet surface in this case. I'm sure nobody will mind. April still hasn't... Still isn't back from her expedition. She died! She died! She definitely died! Because she was hungrier than everyone. I knew she was going to die out there. Crafting completed. We now have a soup. Tom is feeling better today. He is no longer weak. Tom feels vigorous today. He does look healthy, doesn't he? That energy boost will surely increase his performance. Well, thank God for that. Do we have another goal or something? No, we do not. So, <laughs> April's dead. April died and took our armor and communicator with her. Yeah, that's definitely what happened. Computer! I'm detecting high levels of unknown toxin in our air system. Analysis shows it isn't too dangerous, but it has hallucinogenic properties, so you shouldn't be breathing it long term. The air filtration system got jostled around during the crash, and a crack may have opened. What will you use to seal the crack? Well, I don't have tape or the idol that we just recycled. Uh, I, the battery, I guess? Just use the battery. We're all gonna die. I should probably not even care. Look, we, we can't breathe the air long term. We're not gonna survive long term. Okay, well, we're, we're so dead. Uh, what can we do? We can craft, we can't craft a soup right now. Oh God, I can't actually craft the idol if we wanted it back super badly. We can recycle our handbook. Get some more energy for tomorrow so we can craft another soupy soup. We might have to do that. I'm gonna recycle the handbook. The handbook's gotta go. Cause we're not getting any, we got one soup left. All right, we're, we're recycling the handbook. Who are we feeding? I'm starving, but in theory, I should last longer than everybody else. You're vigorous. You're the one producing our science, which actually makes our soup. I've got lots of minerals at the moment. So sorry, Emmett, but I think Tom is getting the soup. And then tomorrow we'll make another soup. And in two days, I should have another soup to feed myself with. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. We're gonna. I... God dang it. We're gonna feed Tom the soup. I'm not gonna make it. I'm gonna starve it. We're gonna give Tom the soup. We don't even have our explorer. I can't even send anyone on an explorer. It's, it's over. April's never coming back. Maybe she'll come back as a zombie or something. I don't know. End the day. Day 17 done. Move me on to 18. How many of us are dead? All of us. We're all dead. We're all dead. Oh, April came back! April came back. I wasn't expecting. I honestly thought she was dead. I honestly, for, for sure, I for sure thought she was going to die. I for sure thought she was going to die. Oh, my God. Maybe the huge dead aliens are playing tic-tac-toe. That's what I'm hoping. So maybe they won't come after me. Com communicator is more important than human life. <laughs> At least we can still repopulate if we were stranded in an is isolate alien planet. Yeah. I guess. We're all still barely alive. I can't believe this. Recycle the lighter. It's broke. That's true. I should have recycled the lighter. I should have. I'll recycle that too. Sexist and racist? I don't think so. I don't think it was either of those things. She was the most capable for the job. <laughs> now, you use the battery and some heated metal to seal the crack. Melting stuff is fun. Unfortunately, the only metal you had free for your uh, little welding project was a can of soup, which was destroyed. Don't destroy my soup. April has returned safely from her expedition. She says she is a bit hungry. When scanning her body, I detect some mental imbalances and a little weakness. The path was a little tricky. The uneven surface of this planet makes it real easy to trip and fall. The armor has lost the battle against the sharp rocks. Oh, God. 
The outpost was mostly empty, save for one bored, dusty robot who gave April a few power cells to welcome. We can make soup! The tourist center employee explained to April in a series of bored beeps and distorted words the way to the museum and the library. Who transported these outside our solar system. So strange. Anyway, April found some soup inside. Yes, we got soup! We're gonna live! We're gonna live! April said the place was a little neglected and almost empty, save for that one rusty employee. The tourism industry isn't exactly booming on this planet. Your stomach is still rumbling. You can always craft some soup. April is still complaining about the lack of rations. Emmett is still starving. Recycling operation completed. We, got, we, we, we gave up our book, but hey, gotta do something. April is definitely weak. Her life is at stake, Captain. Consider crafting a first aid kit and sharing it with her before it's too late. April's tired after her trip outside. She will have to rest for a while before she can leave the shuttle again. Emmett is in poor health. He looks weak. Tom is complaining about an empty stomach. Oh my god. We're alive. We're alive. We live. So here's the thing, though. We're, we're literally all starving, though, right? Yeah, we're literally all starving. So as far as the weakness... Oh, actually, you're just hungry. Tom's not starving. Oh, yeah, because we fed him literally yesterday. April's actually not starving either. April, how are you not starving? I'm shocked. Well, I'm getting some soup. You're also getting some soup. Did I actually check mark that? I did. Excellent. <sighs> that will leave me with one soup left over. So, we can craft some things. Uh, should I repair the lighter or should I just get rid of the lighter? I think we need a crap. What does a med kit require? It requires science as well. Okay. Because we do have people that are getting weak. Once they're weak from health, can they recover without a med kit? Or does it have to be a med kit? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to recycle the lighter that is broken. So we get more stuff. And then we'll start making soup. We're gonna recycle that lighter. It's not. It's not use. It's not useful to us. We'll uh, feed our two starving people. Oh boy. Well, that's unexpected, Captain. There's cheese in the pantry. At least I think it's cheese. I don't know how it got there. Did somebody sneak it on board? Is there an infestation of alien mold? Was it the French? Desperate times call for desperate measures, Captain. We don't know the origin of the mystery cheese. Will you eat it anyway? Yes. Yes, we will. <laughs> We will eat the mystery cheese because we're all hungry and soup is becoming dire. I think we're going to do that. I think that is what we're going to do. <laughs> we're going to live for now. We're going to live for now. April did come through. I can't believe she did. She had some soup to herself while on the expedition. Sneaky. Oh, maybe that is how that worked. Maybe that is how that worked. Okay. Did I just lose connection to the internet no I think we're fine okay cool just checking just checking okay cool got it all right yeah we're gonna eat the, we're gonna eat the cheese we're gonna we're gonna eat the cheese I it might kill us all it might be poison we might all die but you know sometimes you gotta you gotta take risks like that yeah we got two people that are weak I'm hoping that if we feed them they'll heal themselves but we'll have to craft a med kit at least one anyway to see how that goes how that works Anything else? That, I can send someone on an expedition right now. I think we'd send Tom. I think we send Tom on an expedition right now. He's hungry, but so was April when we sent her, and she came back just for Tom. Tom, we need your vigor. We need your vigor, and we need to send you to somewhere. So we've already been to the tourist place. All right. So I guess we could send you to the village. We could send you to the library. Oh, there's a chance for science and a book. Oh, a handbook. Oh, I don't know what that hazard means. That looks like an eclipse of some kind. In the museum, a chance of some minerals and a gun. Hazards seem to be like an occult symbol. Oh, good. Oh, good. Do we want minerals and a gun? We actually mostly kind of want science because we're making soup and we're making med kits. So I think we want the science. I think we want the science. So I think we're going to go to the library. Yes, yeah, so let's go to the library. Let's send Tom Thompson. You're pretty good at things. And I'm going to send you with... Uh, we don't have much to say. Oh, wait. Armor protects... I, uh, I thought our armor broke. I thought we lost our armor. Well, I'm going to send you with the armor. Uh, shovel in the library might 
I don't... We can send him with the soup. I'm not going to. We can send him with the communicator again. Do we want to send him with the communicator or do we want to hang on to the communicator? Because we needed it the one time, but I don't know if, that time's, if that's going to come up again. You know? I don't know if that's going to come back. Cheese! Maybe to the library. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. Let's go to the library. Do I send him with the communicator? Let's do it. All right, we're going to do it. We're going to go for it. Tom, you're going. Starting expedition. That's what we're doing. Oh, oh boy. I don't feel I don't feel the most great about this. Hang on to it to repair the thing. It will come back. Oh, okay. You say hang on to it. So I can go back and I can change the Okay. I'll send him with just the armor then. Tom, you're going with just the armor. I'll hang on to the communicator. I'll hang on to the communicator. Okay. I'm all right with that. Good to go. Bring on day 19. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Day 19. Can we make it to day 20? Will we all die? You decided to eat the strange cheese you found in the pantry. Unfortunately, the cheese wasn't cheese at all. It was an inedible soap product. Oops! You and the crew are even hungrier than you were. No, that is the opposite of what I needed. You need to be more careful what you put in your mouth, Captain. Tom left to visit the local library. Perhaps he will come back richer in more than just supplies. You are still very mentally stable. April is still alert. April is still in poor health. Emmett remains in poor health. Recycling operation completed. You might want to secure some rations for yourself, Captain. April has rested. April is starving. She shouldn't go without food for so long. Emmett is asking for more rations. Okay. Wait, what are our goals, even? Yeah, we need to fix that communication system, so that's true. Okay, I'm, I'm doing fine. I'm doing great. Emmett is weak, but we can't solve that issue right now. You're starving, so I will give you a soup. I'll give you my last soup. And you are weak. So we're going to go to our this. We're going to craft our... Uh, we aren't getting any... Uh, since I did send Tom on that mission, I'm not getting my, the science that I need. I'm going to get... I'm going to make a first aid kit. We'll make a soup next time. I'm going to craft a first aid kit. I don't know if weak will, like, after a week, I don't know if it'll go to very weak. Because it's in red. Instead of, like, orange or whatever. So, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm going to craft a med kit to have on me. Because it seems like a good... Oh, they, look. I just realized there's the unfinished uh, tic-tac-toe thing. I just realized that. That's pretty funny. All right, computer. Captain, we're still unable to receive transmissions. I strongly suggest you find a way to repair the communications console. Otherwise, we might be stuck here for... Oh, we did that. Okay, we could hardwire a perimeter. Yes! Do the thing. Communicator. Yes. Good call, Game Crusader. Good call indeed. I appreciate that. You you do not look good. You look so bad. Okay. Have you ever played Mass Effect? I have not. Um, it looks fun. It looks like I'd enjoy Mass Effect, but no, I've never played it. Believe it or not. First aid kit. You said it well. Yes. I appreciate that. All right. Next day. Day 20. Day 20, holla! This is further than I thought we'd make it, honestly. Hello, world! Hello, world! Goal achieved, fix the shuttle's communication system. Goals updated. Check goals section for details. Great success, Captain. The communicator attached to the communications console worked like a charm. I won't judge the aesthetics since we can finally receive and answer transmissions. Now all we need to do is wait for someone to contact us. Someone will find us, eventually. The crew was visibly excited by this incredible feat of engineering. They were only slightly smirking while looking at the patched communications console. Tomorrow will be great, Captain. You're still hungry. April remains alert and weak. Emmett appears to also still be weak. Tom is out exploring his surroundings. April's complaining about an empty stomach. And our new, what are our new goals? Just await contact. All right, we gotta just wait and survive. So are you actually starving? No, you are hungry and weak. Uh, we do have the med kit now. The question is, do I build another med kit? Uh, uh, I think what we need to do. Oh, how's my? I have a. I've got a lot of mineral. A system unavailable. Now craft. Oh. Oh, the med kit's gonna take more than one day. I did not know that. I did not realize. I did not realize that was taking more than one day. Okay, that's not what I was hoping for. Okay, we're gonna close that down and look at the computer. The walls are closing in. You're growing paranoid. You're having constant invasive thoughts of going outside, even though you'd probably die. Someone has to tell you, Captain, you have cabin. I mean, shuttle fever. 
I mean, technically, we the, the, the atmosphere is supposed to be breathable. Low in oxygen, but breathable. The good news is, this is normal. Claustrophobia is inevitable in this situation. The bad news, the only cure is to find a way to entertain yourself. What do you want to do? I ain't got nothing to entertain myself. I ain't got nothing. So, nothing is what we're going to do. So, we're going to get cabin fever for what that's worth. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, oh, boy. That's day 20. Moving on. Moving on. I'm smart? That wasn't supposed to be a question. That's funny. I say build another when you can. You're going crazy. Uh, yeah, I know. You did not try to cure your cabin fever and instead chose to wait it out. But this affliction is caused by waiting it out. So you only made it worse. Within hours, a brawl broke out between you and the crew. The brawl lasted about a minute and made you realize two things. Fighting is dumb and you also have no idea how to do it <laughs> like at all beaten and bloody you stood up and, hu and hugged it out i still feel hungry we're all hungry we're all we're all hungry emmett's alert uh emmett's emmett's still loyal to me though uh, even though he's complaining about the lack of rations i seem weak i'm weak from that brawl that's what it was okay fair enough computer I know you and the crew asked me to put on some music, Captain, but there is only one frequency active right now, and it's more of a talk show. Two robotic neighbors are arguing on the radio. Someone's mecha cow crossed through a broken fence and ruined someone else's mecha flowers. Only, they can't come to an agreement over who was responsible for fixing the holes in that fence. So, it's at an impasse. I don't think this requires an intervention, Captain, but do what you want. Ooh, crew attribute. Ooh. Oh, do we want to do strength or intelligence here? I'm going to go with intelligence, because brilliant seems like it might be better than strong. Actually, genius is better than brilliant. How strong is strong? Because it goes average, then fit, then strong. So strong is like tier two, whereas like intelligence goes like, I, well, there's clever too. There's like average, clever, brilliant, genius. So I think these are both tier two. Oh, no, it actually literally tells me. Tier 3. They literally have 3s on them. They're both Tier 3. Uh, so the question is... Intelligence or... Strength? I'm going to go with intelligence here. You know, to like figure out the, 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 the legalities and the logic situation. I mean, maybe robots will uh, respond to logic, to logical reasoning. So yes, lock it in. The, the logical solution is the way. You're weak, but I can't do anything about that. I'm weak, can't do anything about that. We're all weak. We've all become we well. Actually, it's probably good that I didn't do strength since we're all weak, apparently. All right, all right, all right. Send me to day twenty-two. Do it. Creeper, Game Crusader. Where did you get a creeper emoji? Is that just on Twitch or is that someone's channel? You joined the conversation on the radio, advising the divided neighbors to make up and clean up the damage together. Life is very short, and there's no time for fussing and fighting, my friends. The crew agreed. The transmission went silent. Today, you found a gift basket of sorts near the shuttle. The note said that thanks to your wisdom, a century-old conflict had finally been resolved. The bot sent you an old, dusty syringe with organic medicine inside. <gasps> I don't know what that means. Not sure where they got it, but it seems to work all right on humans. April's alert. April appears to still be in poor health. Emmett continues to look alert. Emmett, uh, poor health. I can't say if it was your engineering skill or dumb luck, but you were able to craft a high quality item score. We crafted a first aid kit. All right, looks like you managed to piece yourself together. You're no longer weak. You're a starving captain, better eat and fast. Emmett is starving. Okay, so we're all starving now. Okay. What is this thing? This is my oh, crafting module. This is our system. That's for the exploring. Recycle. Okay. We need to craft some foods. Uh, so let's do that. Uh, craft a soup. Craft a soup. We have a med kit now. I'm no longer weak. I am starving. Uh, we're all starving. We're all... No, we're almost all starving. April's not starving. Well, there's not a lot I can do about that because I ain't got no soup. But I can give your weak and your weak. Should I get... So, like, I recovered from the med kit. Is that because of the syringe? Also, can I, like, look at my inventory somewhere? Like, what What does the syringe... What does syringe mean? I've had one successful expedition, by the by. Okay. Maybe... Did the syringe fix just me up? Is that how that worked? I don't know. So should I not give someone a med kit and wait? Or should I give someone a med kit like right now? It took three days to make. 
You have no clue it was just there. Maybe it's just Twitch wide. Save Emmett. Okay, let's save Emmett then. He's starving right now. I can't do anything about that, but get, I'll give him the med kit. There you go, buddy. We'll save Emmett. He is the one that's giving us uh, minerals right now, so that seems fair. Computer! I am a machine, and machines cannot hear voices. The voices that I'm not hearing right now are getting very loud, though. Oh, you hear them too? My weight sensors are picking something up as well. A two-dimensional species that explains why my cameras miss them. Quite vicious, I gather. With one decisive yell, the voices are approaching fast. The air inside the door looks very empty, yet very hostile. All of a sudden, how will you defend us, Captain? With the shovel! With the power of the shovel, I will defend my crew from the two-dimensional beasts that attack us. It's probably going to kill us all. We're all going to die. We're all going to die to two-dimensional invaders. Day 23. Day 23. Oh, God. Here we go. All right, here we go. Oh, boy. A two-dimensional species invaded our ship. You faced a threat invisible yet deadly, like a rumor on the stock market. You attacked blindly, the crew stopping, and you shoveling all looking like a pantomime about snow clearing. I bet this doesn't even work. You worked in unison trusting each other instead of your eyes. You forgot your fear, uncertainty, even hunger. Only the pantomime remained. Soon the angry yells turned into squeals, and the invisible attackers... We're all swept outside. Congratulations, you would make for one incredible cleaning crew. Tom returned from his library excursion, quite exhausted, probably from all the heavy reading. He complains about a rumbling stomach. I judge his mental state to be a little off. Tom says the library is a sight to behold. Centuries, if not millennia, of knowledge organized and stored in neatly on data disks. Perfection. Tom slipped on some data disks lying around and stumbled into a pitch black room. He fell a few times and banged his head pretty hard while finding his way back to the main corridor. Tom did learn something useful during his trip. When he came back, he pointed out a few things around the shuttle that could be repurposed for crafting 25 science. Tom got lucky and found a simple science textbook from Earth in the children's section. I wonder how it got there. So we got a, a book. He did not expect to find one out there, but there it was, an old sock. I suppose some alien races have feet too. We got a sock and we brought a freaking gun back. <laughs> Score. This is the best. This is the best. Who transported these outside our solar system? So strange. Anyway, Tom found some soup outside. This trip had the potential to uncover technology the astrocism creators could only dream of if only the human mind wasn't so limited. I mean, it's still alert. Tom keeps asking for soup. We crafted some soup. I'm hungry, Kevin. We got, we got soup now. April's do okay, soup-wise. Emmett is feeling better today. He's no longer weak. Emmett would like to eat something. Emmett looks vigorous today. Tom doesn't look vigorous anymore. A communications array has intercepted a number of transmissions that are referencing a crashed space vessel. They might be referring to our ship, Captain. Tom is really tired. <sighs> we got stuff. We've got stuff. I'm hungry, but not starving. Uh, for a second there, I thought Emmett was giving me a heart. Like, he loved me. Like, yay! And then you are tired, but not starving. You are weak. So no one's starving right now. Okay. Okay, we're doing well. Those are some neat emoji. What is? Oh, that was a. I thought that. I thought that like gecko or whatever was a, a bowl of salad. Oh, I haven't seen any of those. Hit them with the shovel. Tom is the MVP. Tom. Tom is definitely the MVP, and I would say he deserves food. Except uh, I'm not gonna feed him yet because he's not starving. <laughs> he's not starving yet. Uh, you are just okay on hunger. I see. So we've got five soups. I don't need to spend any at the moment. Let's see what the computer's got for us next. Captain, we have unwanted visitors. A horde of robotic penguins have the shuttle completely surrounded. They appear hostile unless they're brandishing those knives for some other reason. Oh, thank God, we got the gun. They're, they're lawn penguins, Captain. The kind of cheap decoration a wealthy robot would put in his front garden. Their computers have all been hijacked by a murderous virus. How will you deal with them? Tom is the MVP. Tom is the MVP. He got us the gun. We're going to save ourselves from penguins. All right, so we've got lots of stuff. We have lots of stuff right now, so what do we do? Uh, we can do some crafting. We're okay-ish on soup right now. Should we craft some of these other things? Uh, do we need another communicator? We, we already have one, so that's fine, right? We start building another first aid kit. Um, maybe we should do that, start building another first aid kit. I think we should. It takes like three days to do. Should we build another soup while we're here? So that we don't all start just starve. Should I build a soup first and then start working on another first aid kit? 
Maybe. Maybe we build one soup first, then start working on our first aid kit, and then we need to start building our, like, using our mi minerals to... Oh, yeah, because we can upgrade the expedition system. Um, that gives us an extra thing we can take with us, but I don't think it makes expeditions any faster or safer. And I don't know what this is. Uh, craft, uh, crafting module. This will upgrade the crafting module? I don't know what that'll do for us. If that'll make things cheaper... Does anyone know what uh, upgrading the crafting module would do for us? I don't actually know. It would take 30 energy, but we do have 30 energy. And uh, it'll only take two days. The only issue I'm having is I don't have a med kit right now. And you're still weak, aren't you? Yeah, you're still weak. Maybe we should make that... She might overcome it. Med kit. I think med kit. I think med kit's the way to do. I think med kit's the way to do it. It'll take forever. But then we upgrade... The crafting module, unless we need soup desperately bad, which is possible. Don't have salad, but here's a Dorito. More soup, me thinks. We could do a soup, since it'll only take one day. We could do a soup first. Considering it is quite difficult to stay well-fed in this game, I wish that surviving a Minecraft was a bit more difficult. Very early in the game, it is possible to get a huge supply of food and never worry. Uh, in Minecraft, yeah, you want to play on like hard or hardcore if you want food to be an issue. But eventually, once you have farms up and running, food stops being an issue. Yeah, because you're I think your hunger goes down the fastest and hard. Or med kit. Upgrade crafting. Yeah, I know, those are, like, do I do a soup, a med kit, or upgrade crafting? And I don't know what upgrading crafting will do. If it makes things cheaper to craft, that would be amazing. If it makes things cheaper to craft, that would be amazing. I'm just a little worried that April, since she's weak right now, what's going to happen to her? That's what I'm worried about. Let's upgrade the crafting module. I don't know what that'll do for us. Let's upgrade the crafting module. I think that's the thing to do. Yeah, it never becomes an issue. It's pretty easy once you have your farms and everything set up. I'm going to confirm it. I'm going to confirm it. We're doing it. We're doing the thing. I'm a little worried about soup, but only two days away, and then we can make another soup. Um, I do want to send someone on an expedition, like, right now. I want... I can't send Tom because he's tired. I want to send April again, but again, she's weak. She's not hungry, though. She's not hungry, though. Should I still send April, or is that certain death? Would that be certain doom? I could send Emmett, actually. Actually, he's vigorous right now and alert and loyal. He's hungry right now. I could send him with a soup on his way out, though. <laughs> I don't really want to send me, because I don't... I'm a little worried about what would happen if I go missing or die on an expedition myself. But I could send me. I could send me. No, I can't send me. You can't send yourself on expeditions. That's right. We, I forgot about that. So let's send, let's send Emmett. Let's send Emmett. Emmett's doing great right now. He's not very strong, but he's, you know, very smart and flexible, and he's feeling vigorous. Um, to the museum, maybe? I feel like the village... Because it seems like the museum has more to offer, because it's minerals and another gun. Which I know we already have a gun, but I bet we're about to lose it to penguins. <laughs> I bet we're about to lose our gun to a penguin fight. So maybe the museum. Uh, after all, museum... Especially with uh, Emmett being smart. I think museum. Let's do a museum expedition and send Emmett. He's not very strong. He's he's a star on, on genius, though. He's a freaking genius, and he's very flexible. So maybe that means he's quick. I think I'm going to do it. I think, I think I'm going to I think I'm gonna go for it. I'm going to go for it. What do I send you with? He's hungry, but he's not starving. I'll send him with the armor that apparently we still have. Um, should I send him with... A soup? Just so that he has something to eat while he's out there? He's not starving, but he is hungry. You think crafting is faster and cheaper? I would love that. I would love faster and cheaper. Obviously, soup won't be faster than one day, probably. Send Emmett, he's perfect. I agree, I agree. One of the most realistic atmospheric survival game has to be The Long Dark. I have been wanting to play it for a long time, but I've never had the chance to play it yet. Um, the Long Dark's not... Uh, I'm coming up blank on that. I may have heard of it, but I'm coming up blank on that, so I can't think of what that is off the top of my head. Okay. Uh, let's send him with a soup. Because even if... like In theory, maybe he won't eat it if he doesn't need it. A snack for the road. We'll send him with a soup. We'll send him with a soup. I feel good about that. I haven't upgraded this, so I can't send him with anything else. Can I send him with a communicator if I wanted to? No, I don't have a communicator anymore since it's attached to the uh, to the shuttle right now. We'll send you with a soup, because we're doing okay on soup. 
right now. All right, check. I think that's okay. I think that'll be okay. So here's what's gonna happen. I have to go take a quick potty break. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. It's gonna take me like less than a minute, but I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. This is what happens when you drink like two pots of coffee before you start streaming. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere, please. Bye. Kisses. Okay, I'm back. I told you it wouldn't take me long. I told you it would not take me long. I'm back. I'm back. This, this is what happens. This is what happens. When you drink so much coffee. I'm a little out of coffee. All right, perfect. Here we go. Going back in. Um, it will probably smell like coffee too. Ooh, gross. How dare you? <laughs> I'll wait here, Mo. I'm glad. I appreciate it. Thank you. And we're back in. I, put, I immediately put my hand on Waz to like I was going to start moving with it. So we, we did everything. End day. Perfect. End the day. We're not feeding anybody today. We'll end the day. We got soup for tomorrow. We might start starve. Someone might be start starving tomorrow, but we'll be okay. Emmett's going on his quest. You brace the door shut and crashed with the gun in your hand, praying it would be enough to stop the horde of murderous yard penguins, or at least let you take some of them with you. But after a few hours, you got sick of waiting and opened the door. The penguins were gone. There was only an obscene shape carved in the dirt in front of the shuttle. Wow, real mature, guys. Emmett left to, play a vi uh, to pay a visit to Ro Robo Tofu's first and only museum. While you worry about his safe return, I will make some space on my hard drive for new information about this mysterious planet. I'm still hungry. April's still weak. Uh, April's complaining about an empty stomach. Tom has rested, and Tom is starving. But that's okay, because we had prepared for this situation. Uh, he does, he looks like, his, his beard is coming in more full, it's coming in fuller, good for you, Tom. We have a visitor, Captain, a sentient robot, introducing himself as Charles D12, is welcome, uh, welcoming us to the planet of his people, and is asking us for aid, he hurt his arm in a fall, and requires assistance. This is some advanced technology, Captain, I'm not sure if we can do much to help poor Charlie here, though perhaps you could improvise a solution. No, we cannot. I wanted to have tape. I don't have tape, so we're gonna do nothing. Sorry, Charles D12, I can't help you as much as I would love to. So we only have one person starving right now, right? Yeah. Tom, you get soup today. Today, you get soup. No one's uh, gone like insane or anything, so we haven't had to use the sock puppet, which is pretty nice. And we still have one more day on this upgrade, so that pretty much settles us. So day 25, here we come. I can't believe we're making it. I can't believe we made it to day 25. Are you kidding? Achieve unlock space engineer. What does that mean? Well, why did I get an achievement? What did I do? <laughs> Was that inappropriate? Ah. <laughs> Sadly, Charles D12's arm had to remain broken for the time being. We simply couldn't do anything to assist him. He seemed very good-natured about it and returns to his compatriots for repairs. I must say, Captain, if all the denizens of this planet are as nice as this Charlie guy, we couldn't have picked a better place to crash. Other than a human colony full of Astro citizens, I mean. You could use some more rations. April's still in poor health. Poor health? Is that worse than weak? Upgrade completed, crafting module level two! Tom is complaining about an empty stomach. Of course you are. Yeah, no, she's still just weak, weak. So, uh, uh, we upgrade our crafting. Can I upgrade this faster now? No. 
But I can I can make masks now. I think that's new. I don't think I could make masks before. So this is should be level two. Okay, it doesn't seem like it really gave me anything new though. I can upgrade it again eventually if I have enough energy. I don't like I don't think it made because the I don't think it made this any cheaper or faster to do. That is what you would call a bummer. I'm gonna make a med kit. It's gonna take three days. It's gonna take an eon to make, but I'm gonna make that med kit because she's looking weak and she's really not looking okay. And we should fix that situation as soon as we possibly can. Tom's looking fine. I'm looking fine. We're actually doing pretty good. Other than the med kit situation, we're looking pretty good. Computer, what's up? We've received a pamphlet on our window. Try e -bo -bo boson. <laughs> The boson part, e boson, universal shopping from the comfort of your own planet. Free gift with sign up. Wow, neat. The e boson network lets you order pretty much anything except for food and water, of course, and it will arrive via portal within one to two galactic business days. There's a catch though the account creation process requires you to jump through some hoops. I mean, literally, you have to leap through a string of temporal portals to become verified. The fine print says there's no risk of death or dismemberment, but insanity is possible. How do you want to tackle this? Well, it's between strength of one. Or a flexibility of three. An agility of three. We're going to do the agility. We're pretty agile, and we do have a sock puppet if we go insane. So let's do the agility. I say let's make it so, number two. All right, so that sets us up for day number 26. Send me in. Do it. Make it happen. Make it happen, Captain. Poor Charles. I know. I wanted to help Charles, but I didn't have tape. We need to make ourselves some tape. We'll craft some tape at some point. It didn't do any waste of time. I think it maybe made me a, like capable of crafting masks because I don't think I could do that before. But beyond that, yeah, it seemed like it must have been some kind of waste. Oh well, we had to find out somehow. You sprinted toward the Ebos on sign up portal, but you missed it and ran straight into the wall. The portal flickered shut, and an alien voice said, "Invalid verification attempt. Your account is locked for one galactic business day or one thousand Earth years." Well. It was <laughs> It was going to take us thousands of years to get anything from them anyway, it looks like. Your little collision with the wall knocked over some soup. No! At least one can was damaged beyond saving. Not only has good food gone to waste, but you wouldn't have been able to order anything through that stupid service anyway. Well, you could have, but it would have taken a thousand to two thousand years to get here. That was a waste. That was a waste. April appears to still be in poor health. April's still hungry. Tom is still hungry. I'm star I'm starving. Uh, April reported being glad to have you as her captain. Oh, April likes me. Look, she looks, she's like, that captain, she knows, she knows what she's about. She knows what she's doing. I believe in her. She'll keep us alive. That captain, Captain Dee Dee. Queen sisters, me and Captain Dee Dee. Um, Tom reported being glad to, oh, and Tom likes me too. <laughs> but maybe don't smile at me like that, Captain uh, Tom. Maybe you should smile at me like that. Oh my God. All right, well, we're still making this. I am starving, so we're going to go ahead and feed me a soup. Uh, you guys are not starving, so we'll be okay. All right. Oh, Queen sisters, Dee Dee and me for life. Interesting news, Captain. It appears that there is a hollow space behind one of the wall panels. A hidden room, maybe? A secret stash? It would be worth checking out. What's your approach to find out what's behind this panel? Well, normally I'd say strength, but it's, cur oh, it's Captain's attribute. Oh, when did I become wimpy? It's probably because I'm starving. Well, I'm going to go with agility then, because I'm not going to go with wimpy. I'm going to go with agility on that and hope for the best. Apparently, I'm wimpy right now. Uh, I forget how to look that up. It's over here somewhere. Yeah, I've become wimpy. I am clever and limber. I used to be like average on these two, but I've apparently gotten smarter and wimpier over time. Uh, April is looking, she's stiff in agility, brilliant intelligence, fit and strength. So her agility has taken a knockdown actually. Emmett has become limber. He's actually gotten more agile, I think. He's actually gotten stronger because he was a wimpy strength man. He's a genius now. We've all gotten, we've all changed over time. We've all changed. Even Tom, like, he's fit and brilliant and stuff. It's great. Okay, uh, that's everything we can do today. This still requires two more days. End the day. Day 27, here we come. We're doing it. We're doing it, everybody. We're doing it live. Everyone likes Mo, right? I'm glad. It's really hard to motivate myself to start running again, especially because now I, ha I live downtown. It's really human hot. I feel you on that or I feel you so bad I have not been running and it's I need to get back to it. I, I need to get right back to it. Goal achieved! Await contact. Oh, we got contact. Yesterday, you reached a hidden space behind one of the wall panels. The only way to get there was through the ventilation shafts, but thankfully, you were nimble enough to fit in and exit through the other side. Oh, I see. I thought I was going to need strength, but it works. 
Unfortunately, you found nothing. The area was small and completely empty. This didn't seem to phase you much. I suppose you are used to disappointments by now. <laughs> Captain, I detect an SOS signal coming from somewhere on the planet's surface. I will do the necessary calculations to pinpoint the exact location for your convenience. Expect more details soon. April remains alert. April appears to still be in poor health. Tom is still hungry. You are getting quite hungry, Captain. April is starving. She should definitely eat something. Well, um, yeah, we'll do that. Because everyone else is doing fine. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we'll feed you our last can of soup. Hopefully Emmett comes back with more soup. I will start making soup again, uh, but I have to wait another day before I can. Computer, one of the robotic denizens of the planet is eager to test himself against you, Captain. He's letting you make a choice between a test of wits or physical prowess to prove his superiority. It's either logic riddles or running around the shuttle to see who makes the most rounds before giving up. Which shall it be? Unfortunately, my uh, Captain Dee Dee here is not fantastic at either one of those, so we're gonna go with the intelligence. We'll go with the intelligence and just hope for the best, I guess. Might not make it, but uh, again, gotta hope for the best. How's the expedition going? Yeah, it doesn't actually tell us how long to wait, so I just gotta keep waiting. It should be another day, so I think Emmett comes back tomorrow or in another, in another day. We'll find out. End the day. Da 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 da, day 28. We're, we've almost been in here for a month. We've almost survived him. Emmett's back! You didn't bring food, no. A contest of logic puzzles against an automaton was risky, but you won. All it took was applying some lateral thinking. Your opponent just couldn't wrap his circuits around it. The robot took his defeat graciously and thanked you for the entertainment as he was leaving. Too bad he didn't take bets. Emmett returned from his walk outside. He showed up exhausted with a rather full stomach and quite stressed out. His visit to the museum was rather educational. Did you know these automatons programming was, uh, has been set to 0% violence for the past few centuries? That's good to know. I'm never going to use that gun. <laughs> a few incredibly violent pictures and records shocked Emmett so much he started backing away, stumbled, and suffered a painful fall. At least he was wearing armor. Emmett scored some resources from a trash bin behind the museum. Hey, don't judge him. He seems proud. 30 minerals. This trip was definitely educational. It's clear the history of life on this planet, organic or otherwise, reaches back further than human history. I found it especially interesting that these automatons build mechanical fauna to keep themselves company. April's alert. Emmett remains loyal. Emmett is still complaining about the lack of rations. Emmett, yeah, I sent you with rations. Crafting completed, we have our med kit now. April is asking for some soup. Emmett's no longer vigorous. Emmett is really tired, and Tom is starving. He won't survive without soup. Well, I don't have any soup right now, but we'll have to do something. Oh, thank you so much, uh, Super, Super Foxer. Thank you so much for the, uh, for the follow. I appreciate it so much. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. You a little shoulder dance dedicated to you. I couldn't read your name. I had to squint a little bit. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you so very much. I appreciate it. I just keep saying that over and over again, but really, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, we have no more current goals. Uh, we just are trying to make seven successful attribute decisions, and we are just not... Oh, my God. Super Foxer. Thank you for hosting this train with one viewer. I appreciate it so much. Enter into the Matrix. Welcome to the Matrix. Thank you so much. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. I don't know what all of these hand motions were. I hope you enjoyed them. I'm just going to... I'm just going to do the Macarena or something. I'm going <laughs> to... Um, thank you. Thank you so much for the host. We haven't made seven successful thingies yet. Uh, how are you doing? So you're tired, but you're you're just hungry. You're not starving, so there's that. There's only one starving person right now. It's Tom. Tom should be okay for another day, but we definitely need to start crafting some soups. Soups up, my dudes. So we start doing that right away. Computer! Ma'am, one of our crew spotted something strange in our neighborhood. A space ghost floating towards our boat with purpose. Are we carrying anything mysterious that might be interested? No! No! We almost did! We almost did! I had to sacrifice the artifacts like weeks ago um a space goes we could give it the gun because we're, we're on a friendly planet so i feel like we might never need the gun but is it a good idea to give the ghost a gun is that a good idea that might be a horrible idea um oh let me actually uh catch up on chat real quick uh i'm trying to find something to eat. go help them they can reward you nice you used to stream both in twitch and youtube at the same time uh, was that not efficient it was annoying it was annoying to stream to two different things at the same time also ever since i made affiliate on twitch it's technically not allowed i might never get caught but technically not allowed in the agreement you sign technically but it was just mostly i stopped because it was just annoying um super fox yeah welcome hey welcome to the stream you're good at that game. Can you help in the events? Yes, I I welcome help, just no plot spoilers. So don't necessarily tell me plot things. I know this game isn't super plot heavy, but no plot spoilers, but I do take tips and advice. Um, 
My chat has erased. Oh no, Game Crusader, your chat, it's gone. That's horrible, he will shoot you, I experienced it. Okay, I won't give him the gun then. See, that's what I was wondering. I'm like, oh, I didn't mean to close that. That's what I was wondering. I'm like, do I give him the gun to give him something? But I'm like, I don't know if it's a good idea to give a ghost a gun. Well, I know he probably, like my gut tells me he wants the artifact, which I used to have, but we recycled it because we were desperate for food. I want to give him nothing. I'm not going to give him our gun. I know we're on a friendly planet, and I'll probably never use the darn thing anyway, but let's not give our enemy, our potential enemies a gun, our floating ghost people guns. So we should probably send somebody out on an expedition, and I'm... Oh, April, I need to give you a med kit uh, so that you're not weak. So we're going to do that. And April, I think we're going to send you on the expedition tomorrow. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Uh, Cause I don't want to send her now, cause I, I want her to not be weak when we send her on the expedition. And I don't know if I give her a med kit now and at the same time send her on the expedition. I don't know if those will add up. Will they? Will they? Will that work? If I if I give her the med kit now and then immediately send her on the expedition, she will take the med kit, right? I assume so. Yeah, uh, you know I'm gonna assume yes. I'm gonna assume that that will count. And she won't be weak on this expedition. I assume that's true. And the only other place we haven't been to yet is the village. So I want to go to the village. The, the, the chance is just materials. I'm not super interested in that, but maybe we'll learn something new or maybe meet someone that'll help us. So let's send April on this. She's uh, not very agile right now, but she's very smart and strong. So uh, hope for the best. We will send you with the armor. Uh, even though the first time we went on an expedition, it said it broke, but it never actually broke. And let's send you on... Uh, we could we could send her with the gun. The hazard is uh, radiation, I guess. Uh, we could send her with the book, actually. Handbook. About chemical... Oh, uh, chemical compounds. That might actually be useful. If we're going into potentially radioactive area, we might want to send, the, send her with the handbook. That might make sense. Uh, upgrade the expedition. Um, it does cost. I don't know if I can upgrade the expedition right now. Upgrade. What does it cost me? Upgrade. Expedition. No resource. We can't upgrade it yet. I'm short on energy at the moment. So we're not going to uh, do that yet. So I am going to create a soup, though. I am going to make a soup. But I can't upgrade the expedition yet, unfortunately. So yeah, village, April. And I'm thinking the armor and the handbook is what I'm thinking. I think that makes sense, right? Friendly planet was attacked twice. I mean, uh, I was attacked by a two-dimensional being, so that could have not counted. And then the penguins didn't attack. They just left a rude uh, sign in the dirt for me. Upgrade the expedition to go for... Oh, I gotta upgrade the expedition so I can go farther out. Oh, I see. Don't send her there. You don't have mask for radiation. Oh, you need the mask for radiation. Oh, that makes sense. That does make sense. She'll die. Okay. We'll send her somewhere else then. Back with Ramen Game Crusader. That sounds like a plan. Let's go back to destination then. If that'll kill her, then yeah, we'll make a mask before we do that. We can, uh, what do we need? We need, I wouldn't mind getting some more energy. Uh, not energy. I think uh, science. Not energy, science. I think I, I wouldn't mind some more science. So maybe the library. We can send her to the library and get some more science. Right? Is that what I need? Crafting. Uh, I got... Because I've got 30 science, but I'm planning on spending it on soup. i got plenty of minerals. And I'm working on power. I guess I could try to do power on this expedition. What does a mask need? The mask needs minerals. We need to make a mask soon. But I need, I need soup right now. All right, that's fine. So we'll do the soup. We could do energy. I'm going to do... No, I'm, I'm going to do... We're going to do the library. I'm going to do the library for science. For science! Because I will... By the time she gets back on her expedition, I should have enough energy to upgrade the expedition thing by the time she gets back. Perfect. I'm going to do that. I'm going to send her to the library. It's going to be April. I'm going to send her with the armor. And the hazard is like... Oh, I don't remember what that was, and I don't remember what's going to actually help her on this. We can send her with a book. I guess we can send her with the gun. I feel like that might be more useful to us, though. You know what I mean? That monster's armor plus gun. Library is dark. You need a light. Oh, I don't have a lighter. I don't have a lighter. Okay. We have to make sacrifices. Kill Tom. I don't want to kill Tom. I think we'll be okay. <laughs> Or you have to head out. Well, thank you for joining me on the stream. I hope to see you in future ones. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you could make it at least. Um, so I probably don't need to bring 
I don't I don't want to lose anything on the I'll just send her with the armor, I think. Just the armor. That probably makes sense. Cause I don't have a lighter anyway. But Tom makes science and it's pretty useful, that's true. I don't want to get rid of his science. You survive 690 days? The game can keep going that long without ending the game. My god, man. I'm just gonna send her with just the armor, I think. If you're gonna send her to the library, send her with another. I'll send her with the armor. I've sent everyone with the armor, and every single time they fall and hurt themselves. So I'm gonna send her with the armor so that she doesn't fall. I've sent I, every single expedition, I've sent them with the armor, and it has survived every single time. So I'm gonna take the chance. I'm gonna take a risk on that. And that should be good for the day. And I'm hoping April gets to keep the medkit. Day 29. I'm just going to be happy if I make it to day 30. And I think I will at this rate. Goals updated. Check goals section for the details. The space ghost phased through the hull towards you, waving a protoplasmic microphone. You decided to wait it out and see what happens. But sitting still isn't how you deal with a ghost buster. <laughs> ghost buster. It phased through each member of the crew in turn, freezing everyone to the bone before melting away into a pile of protoplasm. The team was left shivering in pain and coated in goo. Captain, I've pinpointed the location of the SOS signal we received yesterday. It seems it's coming from the old assembly line. Perhaps you should consider visiting it to find the signal source. April went on another visit to Robot uh, Robo Tofu's library. I'm still hungry. I'm still hungry. Time remains alert. Crafting is completed. And Emmett is rested. Okay. I've got a new goal. Check the SOS symbol, uh, signal at the assembly line. So that will be the next ex ex excursion that we take. Okay. I'm okay with this. We're, how are we doing? Hungry? We're doing okay. You're starving, but I have a can of soup for you. You get soup. You get soup today. I should probably craft another soup, though. I should craft another soup while I still can. A lighter takes m minerals. You know what? You know what? Let's craft the mask so that we can go to the village at some point in the future. I do need soup, but let's we got so many minerals. Let's craft a mask. Let's craft a mask. Because I do want to go to the village eventually to find out what they, you know, if I get something from it other than minerals. So let's craft a mask for now. And who knows, that might come in handy in a random event anyway. Captain, my weather systems are detecting a storm on the horizon. It's moving fast, so it will hopefully pass by tomorrow. But this one could get nasty. Thunder, lightning, gale force winds, sharp objects howling at you from every which way. I like to keep monitoring the storm's movement throughout the night, but doing so will require my sensors to run on battery power, as it is unadvisable to leave the main generator reactor through a storm. What do you want to do? We could use the battery. Uh, I don't know what we'll gain out of that. About... Yeah, we, we haven't like used the battery for much. We could use the battery. We could do the battery. The only things I, uh, I took for uh, the, the survive that long, Captain, you took DD, ba I don't know who Baby is, Emmett, I have Emmett, I have April, recommended, okay. And gun, armor, book, tape, soup, mask. Because I haven't had any tape. I could have used some tape at one point in time. The armor's been helpful. Make a mask, I agree, I am making a mask. You can survive infinity if you avoid all endings. That sounds insane. The battery. Baby is the huge guy. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was the guy that was crying that I t didn't take with me because I was like, ah, he's crying in a corner. I'm not going to take it. Okay, let's do the battery. And that's pretty good. Let's go to day 30, yeah? Day 30. Make it happen. End the day. Day 30. Day 30 it is. Everyone's looking pretty okay. I mean, I'm not looking the best, but we're doing okay. You ran the weather monitoring systems on the battery power. The storm moved south, and you were spared the worst of it. By morning, it had completely passed. Oh, don't you love the smell of uh, the smell after it rains? You spent the morning sifting through the washed-up junk piles, but it was mostly just waterlogged crap. You did find a lighter. Oh, we got a lighter! Hey, we didn't have to craft one. That works well for me. Tom is still, still loyal. Crafting is complete, and we got our mask. I am starving. Tom is asking for more rations. I am starving, but we can make some soup this time. We'll make some soup right now. I should survive one day starving. I am caffeinated. I am constantly caffeinated. This is true on all fronts. A family of robotic nomads set up camp nearby, Captain. Their elder wants to meet you and the rest of the crew. My scans show they don't have any weapons, not even sharp sticks. How will you approach them? Uh, probably with agility, because that's just my best one. And they've been friendly. Like, everyone's been friendly to us this entire time. So I'm going to mark it in for friendliness. Friendliness will lead us to cleanliness or something like that. <laughs> something like that all right that's everything i think i'm, I'm i think i'm pretty I'm, i think i'm pretty happy with that i can't feed anybody right now 
We don't have a med. We should build a med kit eventually because it takes forever to build. But I'm not in a huge rush at the moment. All right, do it. And we don't need a sock puppet. We have a sock puppet. Make soup, then upgrade mask. And then upgrade the mask. I don't know what the upgrading all that stuff does. Maybe just increases the likelihood of success with those items? Probably. That's probably what it is. You and the crew sprinted cheerfully into the robot camp, but the robots thought they were under attack and hid in their improvised huts until you were gone. No! I didn't mean to scare all of you. You left the robot camp wondering if a more peaceful approach would have been better. Which strength have really been more peaceful? By morning, the automaton family was gone. Because I couldn't choose intelligence. I, would have, I, I mean, I would have done that. If Emmett was here, maybe we could have done intelligence. April is still exploring the outside world. Tom is... Oh, wait, Emmett is here. April's the one that's gone. Tom is still complaining about the lack of rations. Crafting complete. I got a soup. Emmett is starving. Okay, we got more people starving. I'm starving. Emmett's starving. We're all starving. I'm going to feed myself because I was starving first. Um, I know you say upgrade the mask, but I think I'm going to go ahead and grab one more soup since it just takes one day. What does upgrading the mask take? Just out of curiosity. I'm sure it's minerals. No, it's uh, power. It's energy and a day. I'm going to craft one more soup. Hopefully we uh, scavenge some soup from the library so that we can kind of get ahead on that. Because this will be the last soup I can make with my science because I'll, I'll only have three left. Anyway, should I make a tape? What does tape tape? Tape takes minerals. So we'll make tape eventually, hopefully. We're, I'm going to craft one more soup since I'm going to be immediately out of soup. Computer, can you hear that, Captain? It sounds like mosquitoes. It is mosquitoes. See, there's one. Get it. No, wait, those aren't ordinary insects. They're robot constructs. Extraordinary. They're almost as annoying as the real thing, but at least they don't seem to be into sucking blood. We should probably get rid of them anyway, just in case they do take an interest in you, Captain. <laughs> Sorry, computer. <laughs> I decided to send uh, I decided to send April with the armor, and I don't have a communicate. No! Mosquitoes? I will, I will take on the mosquitoes single-handedly. I'm going to slap them all with my bare hands and get metal shards into my hands. That's probably what's going to happen. Nothing. We will do nothing about the mosquitoes. This was day 31. Will we all survive it? End the day. Da 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 da. We're all dead. Achievement unlocked. Friend zone. Oh, what does that mean? What does that mean? You were out of ideas for, for dealing with the robotic mosquitoes that invaded the shuttle, so you decided to just wait it out. The insects were irritating, yes, but relatively harmless. You thought the constant buzzing was the biggest annoyance, but changed your mind when we found that a number of our soup cans had been emptied by the robotic menace. Those mosquitoes gorged on our supplies and only left when they were state, uh, sated. Well, we didn't have any soup for them, so that's okay, because it looks like I still have the soup that I crafted. April is still out on an expedition. Emmett is still alert. Emmett still looks starved, and we crafted a soup, and I'm quite hungry, and Emmett is now my friend. What does that mean? Is that, like, even, even better than loyal? Yeah, it's even better than Lowood. Like, I didn't realize that none of us were even friends with each other, but Emmett, you're starving. So since we're friends and everything, I want to give you a soup can. Uh, I still don't like the way you're smiling at me, Tom. I don't think that's appropriate. Uh, I can't craft any more soup right now. I could craft some tape, or should I upgrade the mask? Should I upgrade the mask, or should I make some tape? I've got so many minerals. Look, it's not that I don't agree with you for upgrading the mask. I'm gonna make some tape. I'm gonna make some tape. I'm gonna spend some of these minerals. It's only gonna take a day. I'm gonna spend some of these minerals. I'm gonna make some tape. You never know when a random event's gonna come up and I'm gonna need an item that I don't have. So I'm gonna make some stuff, because at least I have a mask, and then we'll start upgrading, I think. Forgive me. All right, I, computer, I asked one of the locals about their customs. I have some ideas for explaining their culture to you. Pick something, Captain, and I'll share my newly acquired knowledge using that item as the focus point. That is going to be uh, impossible, computer. I cannot do that. I, do, I, need a, I need to make a new communicator. Nothing. Do nothing. Doing nothing has survived us an entire month, everybody. An entire month doing nothing has basically survived us. Uh, this has been fun. I'm glad, you, I, I'm glad you've had fun, Game Crusader. I'm glad. Later, make other soup. Yeah, we need to keep making soup as much as possible. Feedy, got it. Ramen's good. F, F. What are we Fing? Oh God. Defending us w with all we got. Clap. Nothing. We're defending ourselves with nothing. <laughs> oh man. Emmett, the only friend. Suspicious. The ten percent of times became a traitor. Really. I, everyone's loved me. Everyone's loved me as captain. This just goes to show. Magic Man Mo is a superior captain. 
What happened? You had to refresh? Nothing happened. <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing. We got nothing. All right. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to end this stream here. It's been a beautiful two-hour stream. I would love to keep going. I would absolutely love to keep going. I, however, need to stop. I have places to be in a little bit, in a little while. So, oh God, oh God, what is happening? I have places that I need to be in just a little while. I'm gonna see if I can move anyone on to maybe, should we, anyone, anyone got a, an interesting raid a person? I don't see anyone on, that I'm following streaming right now. Is there anyone we should raid right now or host or something while I'm away? Uh, is anyone else playing Parsecs? That would be pretty great. Uh, anyone else playing like 60 Parsecs? I bet not. I bet I'm the only one. Let's find out. 60 Parsecs. It's just me! <laughs> All right. Well, I don't have anyone streaming right now that I know personally. So I think we're just going to end the stream is what we're going to do. That is going to have to be where I have to stop. That is going to be where I stop the stream. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in future ones. I stream a little sporadically, a little randomly. But keep your eyeballs out for future streams. Um... No, I know. I had a lot of fun, though. Uh, of course, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the the recording, if you missed earlier on this stream, will be available on Twitch uh, for your viewing pleasure. And eventually, when that expires, everything will be over on YouTube as well. If you're new on Twitch, I do have a YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash magicmenmo, where you can check out that if you would so desire. But otherwise, that's going to do it once again for the stream. Thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, wash your hands. Bye!